Hello, everyone. And I think I'm too loud because I just saw myself peek. So I'm going to turn <laughs> me down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, let me go down a little bit here. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh, All right. Okay. I think we're good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, this game. <laughs> um, this is the past for me and uh, likely a video that's already up. Uh, this is another one of, uh, I, I don't know what I want to call these. I, in my head, they're like D&D challenges, but I don't like that <laughs> name because the name challenge has such a negative connotation for me. But um, this is just me running the death house for these guys because I'm going to make a video about it because I... Jacob now has some thoughts about it. Initially, my thoughts are like, I don't really like the Death House. And after reading it and going through it, I was like, all right, let's run it and see how it is. And hearing experiences of other people. Um, this is uh, it's gotta be uh, me putting these three edgy, <laughs> emo-ass people <laughs> through this thing. I told I them just to realized, make... I just realized that I should have like looked around for my old, like, seventh and eighth grade like hot topic wristband yeah. that I, I definitely movies. have somewhere yeah. I, I told them to somewhere. just make they were like oh okay what are we going to make and I was like oh just make really edgy level one characters and so they decided to wear a cape and be seen and <laughs> decide to go all out in this uh, this <laughs> edge lord <laughs> game I only did it because do. I found Spencer dressed up like that so. <laughs> yeah me too she came into the call and we're like, okay, well, I feel yeah. underdressed. <laughs> See, if Jacob had asked me like seven years ago to do this, I would have been more prepared. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, uh, this is just going to be uh, us running through the death house here. Um, me doing it kind of like an experiment for, uh, for, um, oh, oh, hang on. I almost just destroyed my recording. There we go. Uh, oh. Me just kind of me just kind of running this as an experiment um, uh, to see what happens. They're gonna try to get this done in a one shot, um, but uh, this is the beginning. So hey, if you're on Arcane Arcade watching this, which you are, welcome. Uh, I'm Jacob. These are my friends. Um, this is Spencer and Jack and Tyler. Hello. And they are my guinea pigs. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I hope to do more of these in the future. So, uh, we're not starting Curse of Strahd. This is so backwards, because we've already played through Curse of Strahd, and now we're going back to the thing we didn't do. So, all we're trying to do is just run the Death House today as accurately as I possibly can. It's, I, I'm, I've got it down this time. This won't be the Tomb of Horrors where I mess up in the middle of it and go, damn it, I forgot this one thing. It's not as complicated. Um... The only other thing is that I know Tyler has run the death house before. Mm -hmm. I have. I've, I I've also have family. run the death house oh my before. God. Well, I, should, I, I don't know admit. a person who hasn't run or played in the death house who plays D and D. It's like I, I think it's every DM is like, oh, I've heard Curse of Strahd is good. Let's do the first mission. But the thing is, like every time that I run it, the players haven't bothered to explore it. They're yeah. just like. The kids, well, I shouldn't talk about it, but it's like they go straight to the place where they need to go and then straight to the place where they need to go, and that's it. They don't bother doing anything else. That, um, that should so give I, everybody... So I might approach it differently. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that should give everybody who's watching this and also uh, helpfulness for my videos that you guys are more experienced um, because I know what this is like to run for people who are brand new, as you do as well, Tyler, is you ran yep. your family through this who had yeah. never played D&D &D before. Do uh, they all die? <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually survived this one. Okay. They su Good for them. But they were also over-leveled by, like, a, a factor of five. So, oh, okay. But they still uh, almost died multiple times. Okay. So. Well, that's cool. great. Um, <laughs> we're screwed. Yeah. This is going to be fun, y'all. So uh, be... why don't we go ahead and just start off by introducing characters. So, Spencer, who are you playing? Well, I'm playing um, <laughs> Ebony, playing, Darkness, Spencer? Dementia, Raven, Ray way uh the uh human wizard amazing yes um and uh jack uh i am playing orpheus the uh half elf sorcerer very nice uh and and um tyler i'm playing venariel the human blood hunter all right so what we did is um, we're this is going to be raw rules as much as we can. So you don't have variant encumbrance. Character creation, we tried to keep it as much as Adventure League legal as possible. The only thing that I think I'm breaking the rules on is Bloodhunter. But I yeah, said it was okay because bit. it's one extra source. Yeah. 
Bloodhunter isn't a source book, but... But... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It's fine. Um, it's all right. So it's not like you guys are playing in any epic levels it's or on, anything like that. It's on Critical... It's not, not Critical. It's on D&D Beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's official. But um, we're, we're, uh, we're going to stick to the rules as much as possible. So um, not, not my rules, my homebrew stuff. So sorry if I mess up. This is, it's, uh, it's, you know, I'm not a, I'm not that good of a dungeon master. So the three of you, the three of you are, <laughs> have been, um, have been, uh, uh, working together for, uh, Jack, pick an, Jack, pick an amount of time. Two days. Two days. It's been two <laughs> days. You guys went two days ago. Um, who's from Barovia? None of you. I'll, you all... I'll say- also, I'm from Barovia. Okay, so um, Ebony and Orpheus, you guys have stumbled into Barovia as mm-hmm. Strahd's playthings, and you've been here for a day or so, and it's been strange and weird. You don't know how you got here. You don't know what's going on, and you made your way into the town of Barovia, where the two mm-hmm. of you eventually all met, all three of you met up at the exact same time in the center of Barovia as some strange happenstance. And you spent the day with one another, getting to know each other, learning about uh, who each other are, and uh, what you're doing here. Um, let's go ahead and hand wave that, but speed it up by going ahead and saying, one of you, tell something about your character that everybody else would have learned, to give a little bit of like experience between the three of you. Um. Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll start because Orpheus loves... Uh, he loves telling, like, learning secrets and gossiping and stuff. So he he would have told you guys that he was part of a of a traveling show called the Black Parade, um, and uh, he was definitely not kicked out for anything that was bad <laughs> at all. Like that's just preposterous. All right, that's what you guys have learned about Orpheus. Um, uh, what what have you guys learned about uh, uh, Ebony? Um, that uh, I am a, a gothic girl and I hate posers and when I see posers I put my ming- middle finger up to them <laughs> I'm also That's in right. a band you, called uh, you, Bloody Rose Gothic 666 Bloody Rose Gothic 666 <laughs> with my friends uh, Vampire <laughs> oh no <laughs> Diabolo and um, Hagrid. <laughs> Hagrid. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, uh, what does everybody learn about Venariel? Well, it's it becomes pre- pretty evident pr- really early on that she doesn't say anything. She doesn't speak at all. She's a mute. In, in, in fact, so you don't oh. learn a whole lot about her, but you notice that she she understands you guys, and she'll. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> and she seems to. Uh, oh no! Just, but she doesn't say anything. So. <laughs> All right. Oh god! I so, love that. Um, Ebony and Orpheus, <coughs> you hit it off with a yep. mute girl, and <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hanging out in Barovia. You don't know how much time has passed. Uh, and uh, let's say you guys were on the road when you met, and then you came into Barovia. And now you're here, and you know this place is terrible, and you don't know what to do. But, as you come into the town, the gravel road leads to a village. Its tall houses, dark as tombstones, nestled among these solemn dwellings, are a handful of closed-up shops. Even the tavern is shut tight. A soft whimpering draws your eye toward a pair of children standing in the middle of an otherwise lifeless street. And you just see them standing there. They're these, these two, like, crying kids. Basically. They're, like, sniffling. I wouldn't say they're, like, sobbing. They're just kind sure. of, like, you can hear them, you can hear them crying. And they're just standing, they're, like, like, a good distance away, maybe, like, 30, And there's, like, no feet. one else around? None. Like, on the whole street? You look around, it's empty. It's like a ghost town. There's the fog and the mist kind of setting in from a distance. Um, an overcast sky. You don't even know where the sun is at in the middle of the day. It's just these two kids standing on the end of the, end of the road. Ah, oh, shit, man. That's rough. I remember when I was first kicked out of my house. 
I bet that's the same thing that's happening here. Maybe we should go and see if these kids are okay, make sure they haven't, like, suffered any lasting scars, such as I have. Wow, that's so deep. You're right. We should help them. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, uh, what do you think, V? You think we should help these kids? Tight, let's go. Yeah. Hugs. The three of you, <laughs> the three of you I solemnly and edgily make your way along the road. Edgily. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> make your way I, towards these two as kids. As I approach, I, as I approach, I reach into my pouch and I pull out a clove cigarette and, and light it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole last cigarette. <laughs> As you approach the children, the uh, the the older girl shushes the boy, and she looks up towards you. And uh, she she uh, the boy was the one who was crying. She looks up towards the three of you. She says, "Who who are you?" Uh, we were just passing by, you know, a couple couple fellow travelers on the road here and you've got to help saw us you, uh, there's a monster well, in our house oh well you guys are just kind of straight to the point I like it she points uh, behind her you just see a tall brick row house that has definitely seen better days it's windows are completely dark it has a gated portico on the ground floor the rusty gate is like slightly ajar and the houses on either side are completely abandoned and the and the and they're just like boarded up. She just points at it. What kind of monster? A terrible, terrible monster. <sighs> Couldn't yeah. be worse than it the monster howls. that is my soul, but I'm sure we Whoa, can help hey, you. Whoa, hey, let's let's don't get don't get down on yourself. E D D R W. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta we gotta focus on these kids. I think maybe we're beyond help, but we can still help these kids. I, I I just yeah, it, it towels terribly, and um, it uh, our parents they keep it trapped in the basement. Your parents are still in there. Mm -hmm. Have how long have they? How long has it been since 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 you came out here? Um. Our baby brother's in the third floor nursery. His name's Walter. Oh, God. There's a baby. An unmarked soul. I, I can't just stand by and let something like that happen. Uh, I'm I not going back in there until the, until the monster is gone. Well, uh, I, I mean, uh, come on. We're, we're kind of badass. It's like we can, we can take some monsters, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Venario uh, just kind of taps the hand crossbow on her side. See, she's she's super cool. She's yeah. super cool. Oh, I'm way cooler than them. Thank you. Like thank you, please. We can we can take no offense. Look, guys, come on. Hey, we talked about this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, you know what? Uh, I I'm Orpheus. Uh, what 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 are your names? Oh, I'm I'm Rose. And uh, the uh, the little boy next to her says, "I'm Thorn." It's all right, T. Just let it out, man. Let out all that pain in your soul. He looks down. Keep crying. It's all right. <laughs> he just like sobs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, what do you say we uh, go check out uh, what's going on in there? Yeah. And then you guys stay here. Yeah, the thing you said is in the basement, and you said your 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 baby brother's in in a nursery or something. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll kill the monster. We. Yeah, yeah. We we know what to do. <laughs> it sounds. Um, it's the screams. Scream. Okay. It okay. Screams. All right. Take it easy. We'll take care of it. All right. You guys just stay here. You take care of your little bro. All right, R. You got this. Uh, Anyway, um, just kind of nod and just kind of look towards the ground. If we find your parents, do you want us to like say anything? Uh, Tell them you're okay. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, <sighs> well. Let's go. Let's let's get in there, kick some ass. All right, you guys make your way forward and head past the rusty iron gate. It kind of <laughs> swings it open, so you get a <laughs> fisticuffs. <laughs> um, 
And let me bring you guys over to this map and hopefully you can only see what you're supposed to see. Which I believe is just that uh, little, yeah, there, okay. that front area right there. Uh, I see just like a black, oh, no, never mind, found it. Um, and you guys should have pretty dim light. Like, um, yes. I, I've given you guys uh, mostly just dim light. So unless yeah. you guys want to light something or do anything like yeah. that, you're mostly, uh, 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 Ebony and, uh, and Venereal, you guys can clearly see the front of the house, but the map doesn't light it up for me. So you, uh, yeah. that's how you'll be once you're inside is you'll just have that five feet of, of, of yeah. dim. Um, so you guys uh, make your way forward, and you see this giant gate in front of you, right in front of the house. And if you guys check the chat, I also sent a, a picture of, of what the house looks like. Yeah. Um, and that is art is by James RPG Art. Go support him on Patreon. He basically the, animated and drew everything from Curse of Strahd. So, what's up? Is it the Facebook chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Sorry. Yeah, hey, you're cool. Uh, I, was just, I was just throwing a word out for James, yeah. my boy. The boy James. The boy James. You got it, Jay. <laughs> uh, but now we will go up to like the gate and try to like see if it's locked. Uh, yeah. Um, the the gate actually just kind of opens very easily. Um. Well, uh. And uh, just behind it are a set of double doors. I can't see anything. It's dark. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I can see. I can go first. It's no big deal. Okay. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything or anything like that. Mm. Um, I'm not afraid of the dark, just the darkness inside me. Um, <laughs> gonna... I love him. I would also like to point out that just, just for the record, <laughs> I didn't get the chance to say this at the beginning, but Orpheus looks like Farron if he if Farron exclusively listened to punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> was an emo boy. It's perfect. Yeah, like so. So emo Farron is basically Farron. the look okay. that I am going here. Uh, so emo Farron will will go into the house. All right, um, you, you've got a you've got a some double doors right there. Yeah, uh, I'll try them. All right, yeah, they easily kind of kind of shove forward the wooden doors with like the the brass handles kind of open up um, into the next room, um, and inside you're met with uh, a smell of like dust and um, just darkness in front of you. Uh, you're in a bit smell of smell of darkness. Yet. Smell of darkness. The sm okay. Um, Ebony and Venereal, are you guys just following behind? Yeah. All right. Um, I'll You're, step in a little closer. Pinged. Um, yep. You're currently in a foyer. Um, hanging on the south wall of this foyer is a shield, and it looks like there's like a coat of arms on it. Um, the coat of arms is a stylized golden windmill on a red field. Um, and f flanked by that is framed portraits of stony-faced aristocrats. Um, and mahogany-framed double doors leading from the foyer um, are set with panes of stained glass, and that's right here. Um, so you just see this like very nice foyer entrance into this home. Um, and the two of you can also make your way in right here if you want to. It's a very nice home. place. Uh, well, if there's going to be any trouble, I best get ready. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my first spell. <gasps> um, I'm gonna cast uh, I'm gonna cast Mage Armor on myself. Mage Armor. Uh, to. Uh, and what it looks like is basically like a, um, like I I like reach out towards some of the darkness in the corner and I like grab it and I like mash it in my hands and this, it like 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 covers my body in like this kind of swirling like That's black miasma <laughs> and as I cast it like the whatever light little bit of light is in the room kind of like dims a little bit and then as soon as I cast it like it comes back. That's all right, that's what you guys see when Orpheus cast that mage armor, and there's just like a I'm swirling super cool darkness around guys. him, protecting him. It's Hopefully pretty cool. I will not die in the first combat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, Ebony and Venereal, you are having a Eight hard hours. time seeing. Um, uh, can I uh, pull out a torch? I was gonna do the use, same thing. Uh, Prez to light it. Yeah. Um, I was gonna are use you a both box. pulling out torches? 
Yeah, honestly. All right, oh. let me go ahead and uh, give you both a torch here. Uh, let's go ahead and Good give uh, Emits light. Go ahead and... Do what is Torch is 2020? Like, it's uh, 2020, yeah. Uh, are there, like, sconces in this house? Or... Yeah, or like candlesticks or something. Like, there are something not right here. Like... Um, just in the back over, uh, like over back here, there were some um, some oil lamps in the on the mm -hmm. wall, but they weren't lit. Um, in here, I, I would say there's probably like a sconce here, but it's it's there's nothing in it. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I give you. Does everybody see Ebony's light? Yeah, the whole room is yeah. kind of yeah. lit up. All right, so. cool. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Oh no, that was venereal. Sorry. Let me give it to. This him. looks like the the art for this kind of looks like the entryway into one of the hearth the hearth uh, hearth fire Skyrim homes. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of <laughs> does, right? That tiny little entryway. Yep, it's yeah. just like, eat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're totally like the right. Transyl Transylvanian version of that. Yep. But by the way, um, Ebony's nameplate isn't showing. So. Oh, sorry. Let me do that real fast. Just because the other ones are. Right. Um, it has it on C. Are you sure? It's not below. Oh, uh, hmm. It is there. Okay, so that was weird. It's like in the darkness, but my but my nameplate is above the darkness. Probably because it's your character. Probably, I guess. All right. We're all above the darkness now. <laughs> you guys have lit your torches. It's now much easier to see in this room, and you can see those stony aristocratic faces um, along the wall in those paintings, and you see the coat of arms on the shield um, in this very nice hallway. Uh, hey, uh, V, you're, you're from around here. Do you do you recognize this symbol at all? Uh, do I recognize the symbol? You can roll a history check. Uh, 14. Uh, 14? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, have you, have you lived in Barovia? Were you born here? Um, you mean the village of, of No, just Barovia? the land. Just the land? Yes. I'll say yes. Then, yeah, you would know that this is the old, um, symbol for a family that lived here in the village of Barovia, um, mm -hmm. simply known as, uh, the Dursts. D-U-R-S-T-S. I just nod. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what I expected. <laughs> I don't know what um, I expected. <laughs> uh, anyway, no monsters in here. No monsters. My I love my that red Orpheus eyes is can just see. like leading. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I love it. Do you still want to lead? I could lead. Totally. I'm a good leader. Be my guest. Then. All right, I'm gonna lead. I go to the next room. <laughs> okay. Get over. <laughs> oh my god. The voice for it. Jesus. Amazing. Ebony, you walk forward and open yeah. the two uh, mahogany doors, and you step onto the oaken floor into the next room. And uh, you see a very wide hall, and it runs the width of the house. There's a black marble fireplace at one end, and a sweeping red marble staircase on the other end. In case uh, y'all don't know, um, because this is very important to the description for me, is a red marble staircase looks like that. Um, mm -hmm. And... That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that's that staircase in the back, and you can see a couple of doors along the wall and whatnot. Um... Oh, and mounted on the wall above the fireplace is a uh, is a is a sword uh, with a windmill uh, cameo worked into the hilt. Um, the wood paneled walls are ornately sculpted with images of vines, flowers, nymphs, and satyrs. What's everybody's passive perception? Nine. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. Well. Great. Um, as you step into the room, uh, Ebony, and you see all of this before you, you see those um, those vines and flowers and nymphs and satyrs along the wall, and it's all very pretty, very nice. And then as you kind of get a better look at it and you stare at it, you notice that inconspicuously woven into the wall designs are serpents and skulls 
So like where like a satyr's leg would be jumping is a snake. <coughs> and then one of the faces of like the flowers is a skull. And like you have to look really closely and you see it. I like this place. Is it all clear up there? Yeah, you're fine. Unless you're afraid of snakes right. on walls. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> I will have you know. Oh. Sorry. You guys also had it. He's Sorry, I kind of bumped and... into you there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just absorbed your token there. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Does the staircase they go up or down? One. It goes up. Oh. Mm. Well, we could go get the baby, but I think it'd be better if we went to kill the monster first. Don't want to take the baby with us. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, maybe it'd be better to see if, like, the baby's okay first. Um, and maybe we could, like, take it out of the house and then, like, give it to the kids. And then we could go deal with the monster. I don't know if I could... I don't know if I could live with that on my conscience as well as all the other things. Well, that's a story for another day. Um, but in my humble opinion, I think we ought to go and save that poor, innocent baby that's all alone. Now, I don't know if, if, if you want to... <laughs> If you want to do that, but that's it's just what I want to do. Mm. We can. I just don't like babies very much. Well, then I'll hold the baby. I, I don't care. All right. <laughs> I want this to be a movie. <laughs> just like three really over the top emo people <laughs> do this go through like a haunted house, and there's like. <laughs> I don't want to carry the baby. <laughs> Fine, I'll carry the baby. <laughs> this is like what, they, what, what we do in the shadows or some shit. Oh yeah. my god, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, up the stairs I like go then. It's like a game of like betrayal at House on the Hill or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ebony's going to go up the stairs. Okay, you make your way over to the stairs All and right. uh, walk over. And you do see out. there's quite a few doors down on this level. But you continue upwards and that's fine. I'm just pointed out. I think it's like leads this way, but... Uh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Um, you, you make your way over and start heading up, uh, the, uh... It's just the other way. <laughs> yeah, the, the wrong way. just climbs up the side. Yeah. Um, and I'll go back, ahead and of course, you. The hands I, are backwards behind her back. Can I stealth? Yeah, go ahead and roll stealth. I'll do I'll stuff as well if you don't mind. Oh, I'm all alone downstairs. Jacob. Hmm. If you don't mind, I'll stuff as well. Go ahead and roll stealth. Or if you are you heading up or no? I'll yeah. I'll join him oh. and roll stealth. Yeah. I'm gonna go I ahead got, and put you right here just for now. I yeah. Got yeah. Twenty one. Twenty one. All right. Oh, can you see where they are? You can see their light, huh? Not through uh, walls. I uh, no, I, I can't wonder, see where they are. Jack can see where they are on the map. I cannot. Oh, because really? It's, because there's because there's walls in the way. Uh, I'm still on the lower level. That's right. Okay, cool. Uh, what? Did, sorry, what did everybody get for their stealths? I got uh, twenty-one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Dang, guys. <laughs> you guys very quietly <laughs> make your way up the stairs, barely making a sound. The, the stairs aren't made of wood or anything, so they don't, like, creak as you head up. They just kind of, like, tap as your feet hit them. And you manage to silence that noise as you make it <coughs> up. And, uh, Ebony, on the next level, you see that there is, uh, this is, is an upper hall. There are oil lamps mounted on the walls of this hall, but they are unlit. Hanging above the mantelpiece is a wood-framed portrait of what looks like a family. There's, um, a man. There's a woman. There's two smiling children that you recognize. Okay. And then cradled in the father's arms is a baby. Um, roll an insight check. Ooh. Ooh. I'm rolling very well today. <laughs> the painting is lying to you. Um, insight is a 21. You notice that in the hey. painting, the mother is looking down at the baby with some scorn. There are also standing suits of armor that flank the wooden doors of the east and west walls. And each suit of armor clutches a spear and has a visor-shaped helm like a wolf's head. 
Saka. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the doors are ca- are carved with dancing youths. Um, although, with your passive perception, you're able to notice. You see, like, kids dancing on the walls. It's, like, carved into them. Uh, they aren't dancing. They're running and fighting off swarms of bats. Ooh. Oh, this house is so fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. The staircase continues upwards on your left, but this is the the second floor. Okay. Um. You said that there are like oil lanterns. They're just not lit. Yeah. Can I try to cast prestigitation on them to see if the light? Yeah, they light. Yep. As soon as you you start it, it just it just lights up. Wow, neat trick. Thanks. I want one of these wolf heads. Really cool. Yeah, I mean, you could probably just like take it. It'd be too heavy. We can come back for it after we get the baby. Um, yeah. I, okay. Fine. Yeah. I'll get the baby. You get the wolf's head. Yeah. And I'll cradle can, it. We can. We can take like the painting. I guess. I don't know if V is like into art. That's just my own little insight because mm-hmm. I'm such the a great judge of like, character. The painting's like kind of sad and like reminds me of my mom. <sighs> I won't read into that too much we'll because I can't. We should leave. But <laughs> um, uh, like should we? Guys. Did they? I don't remember if the kids said like where the baby was though. Maybe it's on this floor. Maybe we should like look around and see. Like, uh, I mean, I, I oh now I can see the second floor. Uh, I mean, there's two sets of doors. We can just go through one of them. Is this the third floor or is this the second floor? Because they have a basement and then like that would be a floor. And then is there another one above this or is this the third floor because there's a basement? <laughs> uh sure uh well what is it i i don't know i mean do the, the stairs don't go up any further do they jacob or do they continue around they continue the next around way? there's a there's a one more floor so is that the fourth floor or is this the third floor or is that the On third the floor? off chance that you are correct and this is the third floor let's look around okay um because <laughs> Honestly, that's a really compelling argument. Um, yeah, I'm pretty smart. I have since learned that. Cool. Uh, yeah. Well, well, this way then. You know, people think I'm pretty smart too, but uh, I and I'm smart enough to know when I should agree with a, with a smart person. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, and V can vouch for me. Ebony's gonna. <laughs> <try> to <vote. laughs> Whatever. Can I, can I go, go through doors? Uh, these doors? Yes. You go over and a uh, little roll 20 tip for you guys just in case because this place is a little crammed because uh, the map is pretty small. If you don't want to be on the grid, if you hold alt while you while you mm-hmm. move your dude, you can put them in between things. That's pretty cool. You open the door. Oh, to my the next God. Room. I, I warped through the wall. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um <laughs> And you head in, I assume, Ebony. Yes, sorry. Red velvet drapes cover the windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and a matching high back chair, high back chair, face the entrance and the fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a a rocky crag. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. Floor-to-ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. A rolling wooden ladder allows one to more easily reach the high shelves. It's just, this is the only um, way to go in here? It's a library? Um, Yeah, you just look around, you see the books and everything else. And as you take a look around the room, Ebony, you have a 14 passive perception? I do. You are able to notice that one of the books on the shelves is fake. I go to it. All right. It's like and I right here. Pull it out. It just clicks forward, and you watch as a door opens up right here. Guys, I found a moving. secret, a cool secret door. No freaking way. Yeah, this house is crazy. Um, do you? It's like the Bat Cave. What's the Bat Cave? You wouldn't get it. <laughs> Joker, <laughs> you wouldn't get it. <laughs> Um, um, should we up? go in the secret door or should we look for the baby? Maybe the baby's behind the secret door. Benara just points at the secret door. I'd keep a baby behind the secret door. 
I so would I, especially <laughs> if there's a monster in my house. Yeah, the safest place is where the monster can't find it. So oh. as you peer in, um, the secret this secret room contains bookshelves packed with tomes, describing um, with tomes, you know, just tomes, tomes. books and whatnot. They yeah. have like circles Book on and them shit. and devilish writing and black covers and um there is a heavy wooden chest with clawed iron feet that stands against the south wall its lid is half closed sticking out of the chest is a skeleton <coughs> in leather armor um there's a dead guy in here oh what no way let me see yeah she'll like <laughs> she'll like, she like move so that he can get in Cool. I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go into the secret room. Um, um, how much space is there? In there? There's, there's like two. Oh like my god! Barely any. <laughs> no, none. I, I will like go to this, go to the the skeleton mm -hmm. and like pull off the skull. And, As you pull and, off the skull, and... you look up at it and you notice that in the skull is a uh, three. Um, like in its forehead are three uh, darts. Just. Uh, a terrible gaming accident. <laughs> Fatal. I've seen some nasty damage being done by things like this. Uh, Anaya pops a, her head over the shoulder, shoulder I and just dark, kind of points at a, the chest. Yeah, what's in the box? Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm getting to that. I just need to ascertain the cause of death. Um, <laughs> Holding the... The skull. I don't, like... <laughs> it's a little. It's a little suspect because I don't see a dartboard anywhere around here. Um, maybe it's in the box. Maybe, maybe it is. I will open the box. <laughs> <laughs> you open the box. It kind of creaks over and <sighs> hits the back of the wall, and dust kind of shakes off the side of it. And inside of it are three books with black leather covers. You see three scrolls um, and what looks like uh, another small rolled up piece of paper, another small rolled up piece of paper, and another small rolled up piece of paper. So three scrolls, three books, three small rolled up pieces of paper. Oh, one for each of us. Paper? Uh, I'll... Paper is useful. You can write all your feelings down on a piece of paper. Oh, trust me, I know how to do that. I, I put the skull in my other hand and, okay. I, and I pick up one of the pieces, the small rolled up pieces of paper. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you hold it and up. I... It kind of unrolls a bit as you look at it. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a deed. The deed to the house. Oh, I guess I own the place now. And it, and it uh... belongs and uh, it, it, it looks to be uh, the deed is signed to a Gustav Durst. Gustav. Cool. I don't really know if I want to hang on to this, so I'm just going to put it back in the box. All right. Uh, if you guys... If you guys want to go look at, if you guys want to look at the papers and stuff, I am gonna go do some puppetry, and I, I, I head out into the, into the, the back into the room, and I'm gonna sit down at the desk. Amazing. Um, and I'm gonna like look at the the skull like, wistfully. Amazing. <laughs> look at it and just ah oh, yes, very nice. Alas, poor Yorick. Go ahead and <laughs> make a um, make a make a performance check. <laughs> oh god. Um <coughs> I, well, I rolled a natural one. Natural one. <laughs> for, for six. It's very terrible. Uh <laughs> what you are doing in this chair. Uh whatever I'm it like, is. I'm like <laughs> um, and yeah. as, as you're doing that, uh, the, two, the, the two of you, Venariel and Ebony, um, you also notice that in the hand of the skeleton, kind of clutching down, Ebony notices this because Venariel, your past perception isn't good enough, um, yeah. is uh, a, a piece of paper clutched in its hand. I'll take it. You take it. It's mm -hmm. a note. It has a Does letter written on it. You want to read it? Yes. It reads, my most pathetic servant, I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path to immortality. However many souls you have bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, 
Know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness? Of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, <coughs> Strahd von Zarevich. Orpheus, you are in the room playing with the skull, and you hear the wall in front of you, <laughs> like shift, move, <laughs> and like, like, like you hear like a crunching and cracking sound beyond the wall, like wood splintering, and then it stops. I, I, I wasn't the only one who heard that, right? You guys heard that? Do we like what, what? What? What wall? You guys was heard it. It was very, very distant. But Orpheus was in the room. He heard it the most. Is it like the wall behind me, or is it like the wall? Before no, it's me? like the wall in front of you. If you're sitting in the did chair, like it's ping, directly in front of you. Did you like ping which wall it is? Here I'm somewhere. A visual learner. Oh, okay. I will pick up my skull and okay. <laughs> very gingerly walk towards that area. All right, you make your way <laughs> inspect over. Inspect the wall. You um, uh, you can roll investigation. Ebony's going to grab the the scrolls that are in there. Okay. Um, she'll hand the the note that uh, she found to to V, and then mm -hmm. um, do you know anything she'll let, about she, this guy? She, 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 she'll grab it, read it quickly, and then just like throw it. Like. <laughs> do you not like his poetry? I thought it was really like good. Like that that was that made me really sad. <laughs> no, you don't like. You don't like poem. You don't okay. Um, is it bad? Point, she, she just points at the name. Oh, you don't like the poet. Hmm. Okay, I pick up the scrolls. Do I know what they are? Or... I really don't like how good you are at this. Uh, you pick the <laughs> scrolls. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you're gonna open them and read them. Yeah, I don't know what they are. You're a wizard, right? Yes. All right. Go ahead and roll a uh, roll. Th there are three of them. Um, okay. For uh, one of them looks to be. No, I'll do a roll, or do you want me to do a roll? Yeah, go ahead and do um, a roll for the first one. Okay. Uh, Arcana. These. Oh, Arcana. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was rolling for what they were. Um, fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. So the first one you hold up, um, you are aware that this is a bless scroll, a scroll of bless. Mm. I uh, go and roll Arcana for the second one. Bless. Nine. Like bless. I have no idea what the second one is. Yeah. And you know it's a spell scroll though. And the third one? And then uh twenty-three. Oh, this the third one is spiritual weapon. Sorry, I Spirit. forgot how to spell for a Your second. <laughs> Uh, you asked me to roll an investigation check earlier, Jacob. I rolled a 20. You go throughout the wall and you begin to, like, hear and, like, like it doesn't seem damaged or, like, anything wrong has happened to it. Um, you kind of, like, knock on it a bit and feel... You can tell that there's, like, a room behind it, but you find no way to get to it. Um, I'll, like, open the door that leads to this room and I'll look, like, out of it to see, like, if there's another... Thing that's like opened up on the wall or Nothing. like I'll, I'll I'll open the door put the skull out first and then I'll peek out <laughs> and, and I'll, the skull I'll look like and looks I'll, left and right and I'll, yeah and I'll and I'll look at the skull shake it and I'm like yeah and I look at the wolf heads and I'm like gentlemen and I duck back into the <laughs> oh my the room. god that's amazing <laughs> Um, Ebony will pick up the, the letter from Shroud, and then she'll try to find uh, Orpheus. All right. He is. You see Orpheus snooping around with the skull. <laughs> you want to read this? I found it. It is on the dead what guy. It? It's on the dead guy. It's a letter. Here you go. I'll take it. You want me to read it again? No, you don't <laughs> have to. So, um, if he's talking about, like, the family that lived here, 
I don't know. Sounds like Mr. Durst was up to some bad business. Yeah. That's brutal. Man, losing your baby. Wait a minute. So, yeah, I was going to mention that. Um, I don't think that the baby is alive, which is real sad, but... Um... Well, they could have had, like, another baby. Like, come on. <laughs> that, that letter, like, that that dead guy looked like he'd been dead for, like, a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm not quite an expert, but have you been dead a long time? <laughs> yeah, but if he, is he, like, the dad of the baby? This guy? Yeah doubt it doubt it he okay. and i've been talking for a while and he said that he didn't say that there was a baby or anything okay he didn't mention a baby well, then let's... well of course he well he didn't really v mention anything will point I'm towards just kind the, of the door out he there was nothing out there i already oh well yeah yeah so. um but... man that strad guy uh he sounds sounds like someone i don't want to mess with but man yeah. he 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 knows how to write i might have to plagiarize that i mean borrow that yeah um i already got a melody in my head my most pathetic servant um uh i'll <laughs> put the i'll put the skull down on the desk and i'll say oh, well old you know your band and my band should like we should just like you know just get together and have like a oh, like, really, creative not really session a, not really want... with a band anymore i'm more oh, of a well, solo you act you could be in my band you're like really good like you could do like some backup vocals <laughs> like oh, i of well. course am like you know the lead but um, uh i mean you, yeah you hang sure, out. whatever just as i mean i play i play guitar too or, or loot if you want to get specific but. all right we'll talk about it later um yeah one... i think there's some more pressing matters at hand although nothing is more pressing to me than the art and the honesty behind it but v is getting really nervous i'm not because like this is nothing especially not the noises coming out of the wall um <laughs> let's let's don't look at me like that let's go, let's go. did you let's go. did you investigate the desk there's like a desk over here was there like anything on it uh yeah i found this cool pen in the top drawer <laughs> <laughs> um ebony's gonna head back out this room and then head over to the next room unless something stops her uh this this room yeah um before you go i will point at the um the portrait that what has about the two it? kids and the baby yeah and I'll point back to the letter. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Can you write? Well, uh, well, something fishy is clearly going on. We're just going to make here. sure that there aren't two babies. And yeah. Because I'll feel you know, real bad if, like, the babies. You can always have like, more hurt. babies. Um, you could, yeah, you can always have two babies. They've already had two. So, like, they could have two yeah, more. They're obviously um, really good at it. Yeah. Next room. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Open the door to the, the, to the next room, and you see, yeah. um, this is a uh, like a conservatory. There are gossamer drapes that cover the windows of this elegantly appointed hall, which has a brass-plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. I'll be right back. No problem. Um, upholstered, upholstered chairs line the walls, and stained glass and stained glass wall hangings depict beautiful men, women, children singing and playing instruments a harpist cord with a bench rests in the northwest corner near the fireplace is a large standing harp alabaster figurines of well-dressed dancers adorn the mantelpiece and that's it there's nothing in here besides all that um there's like there's there's a harpist cord there's a harp there's <laughs> uh dancers on the mantelpiece fine stained windows Beautiful room. Can I investigate like the chimney and stuff? Chim -chim chimney. Chimney. Chim 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 chimney. Chim chim tree. Um, what was that? Oh, okay. It's a seven, not a one. That's good. Um, plus, um, plus, ooh, five. So, thir 12? 12? 12. So you go over to the chimney and you begin to like look around and it looks very clean. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like the rack in there is like, like ash was once burned in here, but it's been mostly like scrubbed away. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't see anything else. Okay. Well, I think my, um, idea that this is the third floor was wrong. So I'll admit that 
I'm not afraid to admit that I was wrong. Um, and we can go to the next floor. Okay. Orpheus, you good? All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you make your way over to the staircase and start to make your way up again. And... Is it broken? I think it's just showing that you can go up and down. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I gotta move you. Hang on. Okay. <sighs> chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim jury. All right. Uh, you start to make your way up, Ebony. And yeah, I'm falling behind. So. Whoa. Um, and the staircase ends up here as you make your way up. I'll, I'll catch Jack up once he once he sits down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I left my beanie downstairs. That's okay. Oh, we'll do the rest without it. Um, <laughs> not my beanie. Uh, the, everybody agreed to head up to the next floor, as there was kind of nothing in that sure. next room. Um, sure. And you guys make your way up, and you see uh, the the third floor of mm -hmm. this house. And this next room uh, comes to the full height of the red marble staircase, and this is a very dusty balcony. Um, and, uh, uh, like, it kind of, like, looks over down into the other floors, basically, is, like, what it is. Mm -hmm. And at the back of the balcony, right before the hallways that go to the other doors, there is a suit of black plate armor standing against the wall, and it is completely draped in cobwebs. There are also oil lamps that are mounted on the oak-walled panels, oak-paneled walls, sorry, Mm -hmm. which are carved with woodland scenes of trees, falling leaves, and tiny critters. But Ebony, you notice, closer inspection of the trees, falling leaves, and tiny critters, that on the trees are ropes and corpses hanging from them. The trees and worms, um, and uh, worms are bursting up from the ground around the trees. <laughs> wow. This place is getting kind of creepy now. Oh, yeah. Um, she'll, like, snap and light the two uh, oil lamps or whatever they are. Um, yeah, no problem. That are above. And then um, hang on, left hang or on. right. Let me go ahead and put those down real fast. Uh, uh, Venario points oh, right. What am I doing? Sure. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna wait for Jacob to do his lamp thing. You can actually put if you don't want to show it. You can you can show them. Um, they actually look cool. But if you didn't want to show where the light coming was coming from, you can put them on the light um, level, and it won't show the icon. But you will be able to work with them. Wait, what? If you didn't want to show like where light was coming from, mm -hmm. um, you could put them on the light level. Light the light layer. I on the map layer. On the light layer. There's no the, light layer. The, the the dynamic lighting layer. Oh, I can't move the. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if you want to do that, but you don't. Yeah, have, it's I, hard. I, I, well, th this works here because you can also see that they're on fire. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, I'll just. Oh, it's on whatever. fire. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ebony, you begin to make your way up the staircase, and as you head up, you hear clink, 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 and then, uh -oh. and you look over at the black suit of armor, and it uh, careens oh, over, shit. and all of the cobwebs begin to move around it and fall off of it as it robotically kind of begins to make its way over towards you with its sword oh. swinging wildly. Go ahead, and everybody roll initiative. Ah. Shoot. I forgot about the cool set of armor. <laughs> it's been like yeah. two years since I've run this, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, like I thought that the, coming, I the wolves were going to come Yeah, I thought that the alive. wolves were going to come alive, and I was and like. And then I, this, uh, that uh, gave me a false sense of security. I was like, this, <laughs> nah, they wouldn't do that. Um, nope, they do. <laughs> they do. Those assholes. Just, they would never do that higher. to me. Mm -mm. I trust them. <laughs> yeah, I trust, the, I trust the creepy house and the creepy kids. I trust the creepy, the, the creepy potentially dead of armor baby. in the creepy house. Yeah, mm -hmm. Uh, give me one second as I, I think I can just do this. Well, I can just do initiative right here. Bless you. Oh, 
No, I made it not. Why are you too good at sounding like a scene? Uh, as Do you not character. remember me seven years ago, Tyler? Do you not remember me, my little emo self? Um, I didn't really talk to you much back then, yeah. so... Yeah, that's a All good right. thing. Um, Ebony, what'd you get? Um, Ebony got, uh, let me make sure that I have bonus, uh, an 18. All right, Venereal? 19. Oh, dang. Orpheus? I also rolled an 18. <laughs> Dang, you guys. First? I, I have a 16 dexterity score. Um, I have a 13 dexterity score. So, All right, so go or, first. I'll just give Orpheus a 19, uh, which is venereal. So I will give Orpheus an 18 and Ebony a 17. <gasps> well, that's what I rolled, so I guess that's yeah. fine. Go ahead and get... Uh... And if you could uh, check your uh, messages real quick, Oh my, my goodness. love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> um, okay. Do you... Do you... Uh, I'll message you. Um, okay. Trying to get some stuff. Hang on. I'm I not hope my used to roll 20 is, is, more, is more of the thing. I yeah. am much more attuned <laughs> to Fantasy Grounds. Fantasy uh, Grounds! Fantasy Grounds! <sighs> Alright, how in the fuck do you open, like, a, a monster stat block? I'm so bad at this. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I got it. No, that's just... I want to roll it in the thing, but... It's fine. It works. No, it doesn't. It's annoying. If we had the time, I would love to play this game all the way through. Again? <laughs> With the, this I party? Love oh, no. I would play it a hundred times. It's my favorite. Maybe not hundred. I wanted to run it for my kids at work, like a, like a very uh, a PG uh, cursor like shot. A, like a <laughs> less, less yeah. scary, less... Yeah. But horrifying version. They got left on a cliffhanger, um, and I, I'm so sad for them. They were oh, about to... because of COVID? Yeah. Oh, they were gonna finish, uh, what is it, a Dragon of, um, what is it? Spire Peak, is it? Yeah, Ice Spire Peak. They were gonna, they had one game left. They were gonna kill the oh dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Rip. And then afterwards, were you gonna take them to Barovia? Yeah. Oh man. They, um, one of the kids was like, uh, uh oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my food, so. Okay. Alright. One, one of the kids had a brother in Waterdeep, and they wanted to adventure back there and, like, see them again. And I was just gonna be like, oh, well, as you're walking, you're in Barovia now. Um, mm -hmm. but... That brother? You may yeah. never see him again. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Today I introduced my mom to John Mulaney, oh, nice. um, and I we watched all three of um, his Netflix specials just yeah. because she was looking very sad, and so I You're I like, was like let's let's stop watching all the terrible news about coronavirus yeah. and let's watch something else. Yeah. And so now she's watching them all over again now with my grandma. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Downstairs. They're so funny. I know. I like to put those on while I paint. They are. Like I found it. Oh, that's. All right, um, yeah. I am an idiot and a genius. I'm a genius. Idiot genius. Oh no. Idiot genius. Okay, cool. It just automatically rolled that for me. Thanks. Uh, Seventeen. Venereal got an eighteen, and Orpheus got a nineteen. No, Venereal got a nineteen. Orpheus got an eighteen. Okay. Uh, let me set this. Okay, so Tyler's first. Tyler's <laughs> just in time. Ooh, that looks <coughs> Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> um, so you just see this from... armor kind of clanking forward and wildly yeah. swinging, kind of robotically towards um towards uh, Ebony. Yeah, she she draws out her um hand crossbow that she has, um, aims at the armor and takes a shot. All right, go for it. Bop. That's a 19. 19 is going to hit. Roll damage. 
Uh, five damage. What kind of damage? It is uh, crossbow damage, uh, piercing. Piercing Piercing. damage, very nice. Um, Cool, yeah, you go over to the armor and you fire your crossbow and it just kind of just sticks into the side of it, um, but it just continues moving. Mm -hmm. Um, That'll be the end. Yeah, Yeah, that'll be the end of her turn. All right, Orpheus. Uh, From where I am on the stairs, can I see it? Actually, can I move myself right here? Sorry. Yep. Um, you move yourself over from where you are on the stairs right there. You can see it, but I'll, it, I'll say it has uh, three quarters cover. I will move up to like the top of the stairs. Yep, that's Does fine. That make it any better? Five, 10, 15, 15 movement. Uh, okay, I've got a couple friends in the way. Am mm-hmm. I able to shoot off a firebolt? Yes, possibly? you can. Go ahead and roll tech. Okay. Not great. That is 11. 11, you fire the firebolt off, um, and uh, Venereal and, and Ebony are kind of in the way as it's like moving closer towards Ebony, kind of slowly getting over there. You fire, and it literally just like hits it and careens off the side of it thing, and just poof, explodes on the ceiling. Shit. <laughs> uh, Ebony? That is my turn. Right. Um, I'll do a. Um, a. Uh, magic missile. All right. So, do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Eight. Yeah, it's three, right? Yeah. Ooh, not bad. Four, five, six, seven, um, ten damage. Um, 10 damage? Yep. From what? Um, Magic Missile. Magic Missile, nice. Uh, yeah, you go off and you just blast this thing. And, um, uh, as it's about to hit you, you kind of, like, thrust it back a bit, actually. Um, as it's just, like, uh, 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 impacted by these Magic Missiles. And it almost, like, stumbles backwards, but leans back forward and continues, like, moving itself forward. But you did put a couple dents in it. Okay. The armor, uh, uh... May, uh, still focusing on you, um, um, Ebony, uh, takes, um, its fist and just, psh, it doesn't have a sword. Sorry, I thought it had a sword. It's just wildly swinging its arms and it takes its, like, steel fist and ping, tries to bring it down oh. on top of you. Um, see, eight to hit you. Uh, eight doesn't hit. All right. And then, um, roll 20. I really need you to not have all of that information every time I roll. <laughs> um, oh well. Um, and it will go ahead and attack you again. Okay. Uh, and it gets a natural one, so it just oh. misses. Um, Maybe I will look this through this game. Yep. Uh, Venereal. From where I am, I'm, I'm just going to make another shot at it. Okay. I don't have disadvantage because I have the crossbow expert feet. Ooh, oh, you do. Yeah. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Because you went very human. Very human, yep. Very nice. I, I also took a feat. Feet. Uh, another 19. Right. I rolled 13 nice. two times in a row. Full damage. Let's hope I get more than the minimum this time. Yep, eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, you fire into it, um, blasting off a piece of its armor. Is it, uh, uh, it your your crossbow um, bolt like hits it and then bounces off and then the piece of armor kind of shreds off to the side and clang 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 mm-hmm. hits the ground. I have Orpheus? to ask, just because Crossbow Expert is one of my favorite feats, and I know that I, I rule it this way, as do as do people I've played with before, but it, the Crossbow Expert feat states that if you make an attack with a one-handed weapon, you can use your bonus action to make a hand crossbow attack. Um, a hand crossbow yes. is a one-handed weapon. So would you, if you, would you two... count that as... Okay. What? Let me look that I up. don't know I... if you can roll it twice is the thing. So, well, but if you have, a, if you're a crossbow expert, you ignore the reloading feat. Reload the property. reloading can, feature. When you use on, a, the attack action, and attack the one-handed weapon, you can use. A hand cro- and the hand crossbow is a one-handed weapon. Wow! Yeah, you could so, have you could have oh. dual hand crossbows. Well, could you hold on? Because uh, Dwight. Dwight. Why? Could that's crazy because you, you ignore could loading. You, 
So could, you could yeah. Could, could I no? Could I, I just the attack twice with the that one? Property. Though that's the question. That's another question. Is can you attack twice with the one? Technically. Uh, what are you using? It, I'm just using the one uh, hand crossbow, crossbow for now. You you have a you have a hand crossbow or you just have a hand one? crossbow? Because by I'm just asking this because I'm curious. I'm not going to use it right now. But uh, let me look this up. Because you ignore the loading property, and when you use attack action, attack with a one-handed weapon. Could I just, like, fire, fire? Yes, it is confirmed by Crawford. You can, if you have a hand crossbow and you have the crossbow expert feet, you can shoot twice. Oh, that's Jesus. Wow, I didn't know that. That's awesome. <laughs> it's my favorite feet in the game. That's okay. so great cool. For, great for an, great for an I almost learned something right. fucking new every time we play this game. I know, right? We've been playing for how long? Artificer or a fighter? I played a Battlemaster fighter with the crossbow expert feet. Nasty. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm almost imagining it's like a fanning the hammer type motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so could right, well, I make a second you can shoot attack? Again, yeah. Yeah. The only thing I'm gonna be picky on is that you keep track of your ammo. Oh, of course, I'm I'm absolutely taking keeping track. Uh, this time I only got an eleven. And 11 just, just kind of, bink, bounce off the helmet. Okay. Um, Ebony. Isn't it my turn? Orpheus goes before me. Sorry, Orpheus. You good. Sometimes uh, I push I'm next gonna... and then forget that I pushed it and then push it again. You good. <laughs> uh, I'll just shoot another firebolt. Um, All right. Because, like, my, my, my fire is, like, purple, though. It's not, like, basic Ooh, fire. It's, like, cool, fire. cool, shadowy fire. That's cool. Um, uh... Because I'm an edgy boy. Uh, come on, D and D Beyond Dice. Man, I rolled another eleven. Mm -hmm. Bad day. All right, <laughs> you fire again, and it just kind of <laughs> hits the hits the wall um, behind the armor, and doesn't seem to damage it. Can I also say another thing that's crazy about the crossbow expert feat is it says you can use that. I think ranged attacks. You don't get disadvantage within five feet, but it doesn't specify crossbow. It's any range attack. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, being within five feet of a hostile creature doesn't impose disadvantage under ranged attack rolls. Mm -hmm. It's a great, what a feat. great feat. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you know, ignore the loading, loading pro property of crossbows. Makes crossbows like relevant and, instead of like just being like yeah. the thing that I have to take because I'm a cleric and I need a ranged weapon. You know. Mm -hmm. I like that they just kind of remove the importance of how good crossbows were because I in 3.5 crossbows were just so fucking good to have like yeah. there's no reason to have a melee weapon because they did so little damage but now yeah. a crossbow is about balanced playing field now and you can be really good at them uh, it, it's good it's a good this system cool. <laughs> great the animated <laughs> armor turns it's uh it's legs staying still it's torso just kind of ding uh like just cranks itself one way and <laughs> strikes at um and it's Ebony's twice. turn. Hmm? You skipped it's Ebony's my turn. turn. Just kidding. It's about to do that. Okay, it's um, real <laughs> close. And like in six seconds. I'm the gonna, uh, Disadvantage. Right. If I make a ranged spell attack, I'm within five feet of this bastard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack him. With a chill touch. All right. Chill. Is that a ranged attack? Yeah, I'm rolling with disadvantage. That is a 10. A 10 misses. The hand just kind of uh, just dissipates as soon as it hits its face. That's my turn. Uh, the it, it does what I just described. Cool. Uh, a natural 20. Ooh, that would hit. Oh, or a dirty 20. Oh, sorry, no. that would not be a natural oh, 20. Oh, that would still hit. Dirty 20. Oh. <laughs> and then a 15. That would miss. All right, so six bludgeoning damage as it um it just poof, hits you in the chest and then the other one swings upwards you just kind of dodge it right out of the way it barely hits your face it poof, goes over towards the side mm -hmm. uh it's your turn Venerian. two more attacks on it go for it first one wow that was a weird <sighs> hit uh 15 15 15 is going to miss as you take the crossbow and you just shoot it into its side it just just bounces off and slides across the ground. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 14, so both miss. Yeah, both of them uh, bounce right off of it. Orpheus. Uh, 
it possible for me to move through my pals? You can move yeah. through your allies. Pals, a bad yes. idea, but I have a low wisdom, so I would do it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna squeeze past my my uh, my fellow scene kid, uh, Ebony, because <laughs> life is a night. Because life is a nightmare. Um, and uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm I'm gonna ditch the firebolts and uh, there's I'm gonna like grab some uh, some darkness from the corner yes. as this like purple lightning like crackles between my fingers and I'm gonna try and shock and grasp. Shock grass. You have advantage with advantage. Did you see the oh, lightning? Good, kind of... that was because that was not good. Uh, oh, and that's even worse. Damn it. <laughs> 12. 12. You see, like, the, the lightning kind of picking up, the electricity coming off the back of its armor as you, like, reach up and try to grab it, and then it's like your spell just fizzles out, just, and nothing happens. Uh, Ebony. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, firebolt him. All of my spells have range. Nice. Um, uh, not good. Um... That is a seven, eight. Uh, an eight. As you yeah. fire your firebolt, it, it's easy for it to dodge. As you just kind of hook it near its face, it just moves. We are going slightly. to burn this house down. <laughs> Luckily, your if firebolts don't with our... catch anything on fire. They just kind of explode once they hit the wall and leave Ima like a little crater. Imagine. <laughs> the kids are like, please save my little brother. He's trapped in the house. And then just... <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. We burned it. <laughs> um... The animated armor uh, sees you, Orpheus, and is going Shit. to boom, kind of take its fist and kind of move it over towards the side towards you. I just tried to tase you, man. Come on. 22. Yeah, that'll hit. And then another one is going to hit Ebony Rep with uh -oh. a 21. Oh, that'll do. All right, so uh, <laughs> Orpheus, you take seven and... bludgeoning damage. Oh, my God. And am... Ebony, you take doing, doing eight good. bludgeoning damage. I am unconscious. It oh, turns, God. as Ebony fires that, that last firebolt and misses, it kind of turns, dunk, hits Orpheus in the gut, and he's like, Ooh! and then it turns and looks towards Ebony, and just one swift, dunk, it just, like, comes forward, <laughs> comes back, and Ebony just, like, psh, falls onto the ground. <clears throat> Ow. Venereal. I mean, I don't have much of an option with, with this character, so two more shots. All right. Yeah, two more shots. Oh, fuck. Oh, excuse me. 18. That hits. Come on, Venariel. Uh, 13. One of them hits. One of them kind of goes into it, and this third one just... The second one Max just damage off. on that hit, though. Ooh, how much 10. 10 damage? Mm -hmm. As you strike it, it strikes right through the middle of it, goes up the side of its face, and then it kind of like... And he watches the whole thing kind of, the hands fall apart, the legs fall apart, the whole thing crumbles into a pile until the um, the helmet just kind of lands on top and it is no longer animated and dead. You guys are, uh, are st we're going to be still in combat. Because um, oh, we have a one, dying Somebody Ebony. is unconscious. Um, Orpheus. Um, I'm going to help you have fall on the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, be like, oh. <laughs> Ow! Uh, and I look up at Venereal. I'm like, ah, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I, 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 oh my god, this is a horrible idea. But I'm going to attempt to stabilize. Um, <laughs> Do none uh, of us have any sort of healing all right, ability? So <laughs> hang on. Let's let me double check on the rules here on this. So I believe with medicine, you can't attempt to stabilize a creature. And it is, um, it, it just attempt to stabilize a dying companion. I want to know the official rules for this. And if it's not specific, then I think I know what it is. We go to using ability scores. Hello, medicine. Oh. It's just lets you stabilize a dying companion. So go ahead and make a medicine check. I rolled a five. Five. Oh. You look down towards <laughs> Ebony. She has a bruise she's like bleeding a bit from her head and she's and like she's just out and you don't know if she's gonna die or not i apply pressure to the wound <laughs> all right just um, put a hand on her head ebony go ahead and roll a death saving throw and this <coughs> is my home brew so we all get to know what it is oh you do yeah it's a seven seven oh rip venereal um i'm gonna try and stabilize all right go ahead and roll a medicine check Oh my god, I got a dirty 20. 
you got a dirty Ooh. 20. You go over and uh, you... Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, enough for the DC. You go over and you you uh, uh, you kind of stop some of the bleeding. You're like, don't put pressure there. You kind of hold her head up and um, and uh, you make sure she's not hurt in any other places. And and um, and she doesn't require much, but you do give mm-hmm. her like some water or something like that, and she seems to be better. Um, and she's she are stabilized now, Ebony. Neat. Oh, that, that was like a was like our first combat. We got fucking. <laughs> Almost white. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna well, I like. Think a, I think a rest is in order. <laughs> I'm kind of like like lean against the wall, just holding my head like this for a I while. Like yeah, and I. I think we're doing a, oh. a short rest. Short rest. Oh. All right. Just up here, up here on the landing, or maybe <laughs> should we go down? Should we go down to the the office, and and maybe chill there with the creepy wall and the dead body. Uh, <laughs> We can stay here. We can stay here. We're fine. We're fine. All right, you guys are right up on the balcony. A pile of of um, of armor next to you, dust everywhere, cobwebs still on the ground, and a bit uh, a couple of craters of firebolts on the walls. And you guys um, <laughs> take a minute, catch your breath. Um, you guys can short rest, and you can roll um, hit dice if you'd like. You have a maximum of one. But yeah. uh, Ebony, if you would like to regain consciousness, you need to gain hit points. Do you re-roll ones on, um... Nope. You add your con mod. <laughs> I need to roll a d6. Plus two. And I'm back at full health. A baby is not doing very well. Um, do you just, <coughs> you just have one health? No, I have three. Three. And yeah, you basically wake up, your head is just thumping. You feel terrible. Um, and, uh, luckily you're all right. You feel a bit bruised, like, right on your forehead. Um, you don't know if you have a concussion or not, but, uh, it's, you slowly come to over the course of an hour. Um, can I, um, during that course of an hour, can I see if I can try and recover any of my, um, bolts I used? Yeah, so you can spend, I believe, a minute to try to recover your bolts. Um, yep. I'm trying to find the exact rule here. <coughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. I'll be right back. Um, <coughs> yep. Um, at the end of a battle, you can recover half your expended ammunition by taking a minute to search the battlefield. Cool. So mm-hmm. um, I think you spent what? Six? It was six. Six, so, so you get three back. The other three were um, broken. Yep. Since I can do my arcane recovery, mm-hmm. um, I'm going to get my first level spell slot that I used back and then immediately use it to cast false life on myself. All right. Nice. <laughs> arcane recovery that, that magic back to you and then <laughs> imbue yourself with, uh, with, with and then life. I'll get, uh, I think I'm back at max with, with five. All right. Yeah. I love how... None of all of us decide not to pick pick up any healing. Um, <laughs> I'm a wizard. Right? I have no healing. I'm a blood hunter that has no spells yet. So. Yep. Um. I'll wait for Jack to come back before we plan our uh. Plan of attack. Yeah, plan our attack. That's the word for it. Full disclosure: I did almost play a grave domain cleric, <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but I, but I thought that a shadow sorcerer would be more fun. Um, and so far, it's been okay. So. Yeah, you guys are fine. <laughs> we're we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you we guys. Just, um, we need to make sure that the next monster is very far away from yes. us when combat begins. Yep. That's you guys finish your rest. A hard task in this dungeon. And um, head back upstairs. So we've been well, we never left. We, like, we stayed up here. Oh, how, yeah, we... how about how long have we have we been in the house? How long have you been in the house at this point? An hour and fifteen minutes. Okay, so I still got like six hours and forty-five minutes left on my mage armor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have plenty of you time. You still got some time. Whew. Okay. Well, 
Uh, Venera uh, kind of stands up and dusts herself off. And she's like, ready to keep going. You okay? Uh, I mean, you took a pretty nasty, yeah, my nasty head hit back bad. there. I'll be all right. I'm sure you've been through worse. Yeah, obviously. Actually, yeah. no. I, w- I would say, like, we've been <clears throat> act, um, like, if anything, you guys would be going slower than what we've been describing because um, I mean, <clears throat> that makes yeah. more sense. So you guys have probably been in the house for about an hour and 40 minutes. Okay. So much. I just wanted to know if I still had mage armor. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it hasn't been eight oh, yeah, hours it hasn't. yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been in here for three days. <laughs> 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 um, well, as long as you think you're okay. V, yeah. that was some expert shooting back there. I really... God, looking at myself just in my thing, I look like um, Tobey Maguire in the third Spider-Man <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, well, uh, this hallway behind me looks uh, pretty appealing. Why don't we? Right. Why don't we head this way? I'll take the lead. I'll, yeah. How about you lead? For yeah. Uh... I, I can actually. Totally do that. Uh, Venaria will kind of push her way up and like. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah, sure. <laughs> That's fine too. Man, Man V. Uh, you know she's she's a feisty one. I think she's into me, but. I'll go here you, and I'll go to the door head. on the left. Oh, but like, not the uh, double you're gonna, doors. You're gonna head south. This one. Yeah, south. Yeah. I'm not, I'm going this way. So. Yeah, 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 south. Oh, sorry, west. Then open this door. That's the that's west. Sorry, north is that way. Um, yeah. This is north. Yeah. This is west. That's north. Yes. This yeah. is south. Um. So you head west. Um. And as you make your way in, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, oh yeah. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, I got it. Um, <clears throat> oh, Jacob, you idiot. Why are you an idiot? I'm so stupid. Just give me a second. Yeah. So stupid. I'm so stupid. 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 <clears throat> um, all right. So, uh, this is a bathroom. Howdy. There's a dark, the, this God. dark room contains a wooden tub with clawed feet. There's a small iron stone with a kettle resting on top of it. And a barrel under a spigot in the east wall. A cistern on the roof used to collect rainwater, which was borne down a pipe to the spigot. Mm. I kind of just peek in, kind of back up, and just nope, not in there, in, right. into this room instead. Okay. Uh, yeah, you make your way into the next room, and uh, this looks to be a like a master bedroom. The double doors to this room have dusty panes of stained glass set into them. Designs in this glass resemble windmills. The dusty, cobweb-filled master bedroom has burgundy grape, <laughs> burgundy grapes, uh, <laughs> burgundy drapes covering the windows. Furnishings include a four-poster bed with embroidered curtains and tattered gossamer veils, a matching pair of empty wardrobes, a vanity with wood fr- with a wood-framed mirror and jewelry box, and a padded chair. There is a rotting tiger skin rug that lies on the floor in front of the fireplace which has a dust covered portrait of a man and a woman above it two that you recognize the same ones that were downstairs Mm -hmm. there is a webbed filled parlor in the southwest corner that contains a table and two chairs and resting on a dusty tablecloth is an empty porcelain bowl and a matching jug she'll step all the way in kind of just motion for everyone to kind of follow her <clears throat> then you okay. Oh, hello. Um. Mm. No, baby. No. I'm gonna look around. Can I investigate the room? Sure. Roll investigation. Um. Nineteen. Um, I mean, you see the bed. There's nothing under it, nothing in the sheets or anything. Looks like nobody slept in it in quite a long time. 
There's nothing but like rotty old, rotted old clothes in these, mm-hmm. um, whatever they're called, uh, uh, wardrobes. Um, mm-hmm. This little parlor over here with the uh, with with the with the table and stuff has nothing on it. Looks like it just set out just to look nice. Mm-hmm. There's a small uh, a door that goes out to a balcony here, um, and the room is like it's vi- like I'm not kidding. The room is very gothic. There's veils and it's very dark in like the the colors and whatnot, and like mm-hmm. the designs along the wall are like floral a bit, and it's um, that there's nothing under the rug or anything like that. But you do see that there is a jewelry box on the on the uh, 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 what is it called the dresser the the dresser with the mirror sorry mm-hmm. uh, and the the vanity yeah right here exactly the That's vanity right thank you yeah, um, yeah the jewelry box and if you would like to open it sure uh, there uh, it is first of all the jewelry box itself is is made of silver with a gold filigree and on mm-hmm. the inside it contains three gold rings. And a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. Hmm. I'll close it back. All right, you close it. There's uh, a baby. Does the hand. tiger does the tiger skin rug have like a head? Uh, it does. Yes. <laughs> uh, Orpheus mm-hmm. will kind of spend that whole time just like squatting in front of the <laughs> in front of the tiger and like staring at it. <laughs> You're just staring at it and just its face of. Death and Guys, it blinked. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, or feels just like poke it a couple of times, and he'll like stick his head like under the jaws, like oh. <laughs> you guys uh, go over Orpheus is getting killed by the rug. <laughs> I kick the um, rug, and he'll that. Ah, hey, watch it. <laughs> um, I'll get up and I'll dust myself off, and I nothing here. Let's move on. Lead the way. Go back out into the to the balcony Bink. and make my way down, and then I'm gonna go through into this door. Okay, you make your way over that door, and uh, that door right there that opens door. up to a small room. Um, and this small room, uh, these are dusty shelves that line the walls. Um, and a few of the shelves have folded sheets, blankets, and old bars of soap on them. There is a cobweb-covered broom that leans against the far wall. Is it a flying broom? It's a broom. Do, th- th- does Evany say that? Yeah. Like, can you fly on it? Like, That'd a broom be, flying I mean, like a witch? if there is some magic armor... I'm gonna... Walk I wouldn't over put to it, it past it being a magic broom. And Maybe you walk closer on it. towards it, it, and it flies forward and boom, <gasps> tries to it hit you in the head. Um, oh, yep. It's oh, a bad man. broom. Oh. My my family nearly died to this thing. A broom to a broom. Your ass. <laughs> yeah, to the broom. The broom. To the broom. The broom. Uh, I was waiting for this. It's gonna, say get, that it's now, gonna but... get a sneak attack on you. <gasps> Go. Sneak attack broom. The broom took levels in rogue. Uh, it got a 19. <laughs> that hits. You did four bludgeoning damages. It hits you in the face. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Brutal. Were you about to get TPK'd by a fucking broom? Probably. As I said, they awesome. nearly killed my, my family. <laughs> and they were over leveled for this That's fight. Your, that's your tragic backstory. A broom killed your family? Yeah. All right. Venereal. 18. Orpheus. Four. Ebony. 16. All right. Do we need uh, epic boom fighting music? Hang on, I'm getting it. <laughs> um, no, we really don't, but whatever. <laughs> It'll be a silent death. Yeah. No, no fanfare will welcome us into this good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Venereal, you're first. Uh, Vanilla will be like, what the heck? She got Speaks. whacked in the face with, by the broom. Mm-hmm. She'll draw her sword and, like, because she has one and slash and then, like, and get who shoots at it. But, Amazing. But she's more focused on just trying to hit it with the sword. Sounds good. So the sword was an 18. An 18? 18, 18 will hit the broom. Cool. And then... The, the 
crossbow is an 11. And 11 uh, misses. Uh, the broom is very thin and difficult to hit with a crossbow. You're like aiming at a yeah. stick, so it just <laughs> and it yep. sticks into the back of the wall. Yep, it, it takes the... seven slashing damage, right? That's what that was piercing for a short sword. Piercing? Yeah. <laughs> stab the broom. So seven piercing. Seven piercing. All right. You stab the broom and you just kind of cut it on the side and it's still like floating and like hitting up against the walls, hitting all, all sorts of things on the side, trying to whack at you. Yep. Um, Ebony. Nimbus 3000, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, um, can I see nimbus. it? Um, <laughs> it's got three quarters cover. It's small well, and it's I behind a door there. The spell sniper feet. So <laughs> well, <then. laughs> don't give a fuck about that. Um, really a cover. <laughs> I've got Ooh. curved spells. Ebony's yeah, like, no one can hide from my sight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a firebolt at it. All right, go for it. Um, that's a seventeen. A seventeen hits. Yep. And uh, that's seven fire damage. Nice. Great. Uh, it, it looks really bad as you go over the, the spell literally like curves around the doorway and poof, hits the bottom part of the broom, um, with all the sticks and stuff. And it just, poof, um, burns a good portion of it. Um, it doesn't catch on fire or anything, but it, it looks in a bad way. Um, it's like slowing down, but it still is able to fling itself forward and poof, try to hit you one more time. Oh my god, this broom's tough as shit. Uh, it got a natural one on its first one, so it kind of just click, hits a hits a towel on the side. Yeah. And then it gets uh, it gets a thirteen. Two attacks. Uh, to, 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 hit, to hit me. Yeah. I uh, miss. All right, cool. Uh, it, it tries to hit you, and you just it just whacks the wall a bunch, um, and that's it. Uh, Orpheus. I know, right? Nasty. Damn brooms. Uh, if I. <laughs> I mean, but think about this in real life. Think of a broom, and it's like spinning, and you yeah. have to fight it. No, it's no, that, like, oh, that's course. harder than fighting like a dog. <laughs> it's like ah. Uh, I mean, from where I'm at, can I hit the broom with what? A fireball. Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, okay. You can weave it through your companion. It's just cover, probably. I'm a weaver. Firebolt. Man, if I could roll like above a 12, that would be really nice. <laughs> I keep rolling sixes and sevens on my attack. Yay. <laughs> uh, you so fire up. That's a 12. A 12. Uh, 12 misses. As you fire out the fireball, it yeah. just pff, hits the doorway. You're like trying too oh, well. careful not to hit Venariel, and it just misses. Yeah. Um, Venariel. She's going to forego the crossbow and just stab it try and stab it with a sword go for it oh my god fucking venario 23 roll damage I like, I like to imagine that tyler's just going like tick 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 with yeah <laughs> with the broom, Fighting the broom yes <laughs> uh awesome. five piercing yeah you slice the broom right in half uh, you splinter it right down the middle and it kind of cracks open and it falls to the ground no longer animated well done I just kind of kick. I, I I kick the pieces. Nice. Just perfect. I lean up against the banister and I'm like, "Wow, even the household tools are trying to kill us. This place I just is fucked up." Wanted a fine up. broom. That was rude. Well, that one might have thrown you off. So I guess it's good you didn't climb on it. That would be like pretty bad. I mean, you're already kind of beat up. Yeah, my head still hurts. We should go find I, the baby. I'm kind of like rubbing so we my can... like, like a welt on my head. Just. Oh. <laughs> I think so far I am the only person in this group who has not taken a head injury, and I pride <laughs> myself on that. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go into this room. Make your way down, Venario, and as you head into this room, you step Don't over. Don't need to go that far. Oh, do you, you want me put, put place there? Yes. Okay. Dustin Cobweb's shroud and elegantly appointed bedroom, and. Uh, yep, and a bedroom. It's just a bedroom in here. And you see a door on your right. You see um, uh, this like very dusty cobwebbed room before you. And I'm pretty sure you can see in the corner of it. Um, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> there is what looks like 
a spirit, a floating blue and white ghostly figure. And it resembles a terrified, skeletally thin young woman. And she turns and she just stares over and her mouth is kind of like, <sighs> she stares over and as she kind of looks at you, she begins to kind of float up in the air and her 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 uh, her head kind of tilts to the side. Her chest rises up and she, <sighs> and she begins to kind of float over towards you and violently begins to uh, <laughs> attempt to attack you. Um, but that's where we're going to go and break. Uh, okay. As uh, we'll take like a five, ten minute break and we'll come back to it. And welcome back uh, to us, not to them. They were just here. Uh, we are <laughs> going to continue. So, um, y'all, I'm recording, right? I am. Um, you guys have uh, made your way into this uh, room and you see this spectral, skeletal woman. Uh, there's a game I'm trying to uh, think of that, that like uh, comes to mind when I think of this, this specter. And it was, um, what was it? Was it uh, PT? You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. That, is that the Silent Hill thing? Yeah, it was the Silent Hill experimental game thing. Um, that's oh. w- what I imagine she kind of looks like. I'll send you guys a, a, the a hallway screenshot. Game? Yeah, the hallway yeah, the game. Yeah, the hallway game. Yeah. No idea what you're talking about. Well, um, spooky as fuck. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Night- nightmare. Yeah. Nightmare fuel. I'll send it to the Facebook chat if you want to Except check Except she's, that. like, blue, right? In... The woman. Yeah, she's well. She the the guy the one you guys are fighting is very clearly a a spectral kind of ghost creature. So, um. <laughs> the the head shake no. <laughs> Don't like that. Yeah. So uh, I would like everybody to roll initiative. Hold on a second. I got I accidentally exited out of my character sheet. Nice. Yeah. Okay, got it back. Um, I will be going in and out of mute because I am eating some very crunchy nachos that I prepared for myself. You're cool. You're good. So, I would also like to point out that this is the second time I've ro- rolled a natural one for initiative. No! So, oh my god. I rolled a four. So that's a four. Just, All right, Ebony. Yeah. 15. And Venereal. The first time, Venereal is not going first at 11. Nice. Am I that going means, first? That means that, uh, The no. Spectre goes first. The Spectre is first. <laughs> So uh, she looks over and she kind of like and like begins to kind of float her way forward and she's just kind of screaming um, as she does so. And uh, she gets as close as she can to you, uh, Venereal, and as mm-hmm. she gets over towards you, sh- I need to close all of my tabs here. Uh, she gets about <coughs> here and uh, she just holds out her arms and begins to seemingly pull at like these tethers inside of you and you see more blue wispy energy begin to drain out of you towards her and she just (sighs) begins to pull it towards herself um she's performing a life drain Ooh, fancy that's an 11 to hit you as a miss it is a miss then she misses nothing happens um as she tries to life drain you and that's the end of her turn uh ebony um, I'm gonna, uh, let me see where I'm at in this. Oh, why is it? It's, I can't see. Oh, I can. Can I see her? Yes. Okay. Um, it just looks kind of funny where I'm at. Um, no, I'm you can gonna, see her from there. Um, I'm gonna cast a firebolt on her. All right, roll attack. Do I have disadvantage? Yes. Um, because yeah. I'm right here. Technically, yes. Okay. Oh man, I almost crit. Um, that's a uh, seventeen to hit. That still. hits. Roll damage. <laughs> and that'll be ten fire damage. I As said firebolt, right? Yeah, uh, firebolt, okay. right? Yeah, ten the, fire damage. The firebolt goes, hits her. It seems to burn her, and then it kind of like goes through her and <laughs> hits the wall behind. Oh. As uh, she takes resistance. Uh oh. Uh, Venereal. Don't use fire. Uh, Venereal will go over on the side. <clears throat> Alright. Um, and make two 
uh, crossbow back, shots to the back. Go for it. Well, it was almost a natural 20, but it's a dirty 20 instead. Dirty 20 hits. And then second one is a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the rule for the crits? For crits? It's just an, the it's an add D8. It's an extra dice. <clears throat> okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Then... You didn't add a flanking bonus either, did you? Nope. Okay, good. I did not. Stop. Nice. You're being a butthole. <laughs> Don't push your face into that. 21 piercing damage. Uh, 21 piercing damage. Um, and as you fire into the back of her, like the back of her head and into her back, it also, it's like hitting water. It hits, slows, yeah. and then ding, ding, hits the ground um, yeah. as she takes resistance. <coughs> um, she looks to be pretty uh, pretty incorporeal, though. She is kind of fluttering, um, uh, like uh, uh, jittering in the air a bit. Um, but it's hard to tell if she's weak or not. Mm -hmm. Morpheus. I mute myself because I finished my noisy nachos. Nice. <laughs> or Orpheus's noisy nachos is a, is a great name for a spell. <laughs> Orpheus's noisy nachos. Orpheus will come in here and be like, "What's going on?" and then realize, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll just go right here, um, and he'll just do that cheeky, cheeky shocking grasp. Shh. Grasp and shock the ghost yes wow Tase the natural ghost. one wow you you take out on. and it's like it's building up and building up and then just this spell does not work <laughs> <laughs> well that's my life i'm just chilling specter turns around and performs the life drain once more on venereal she looks over and she's like still latching onto those those tethers and she begins to try to pull it out of you mm-hmm she gets a dirty 20. I would hit. All right. That is, um, oh, God. Rip. Roll a, uh, this is 16 necrotic damage. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I'm out. Is that, is that your full health? Well, That's you need to roll health. a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, shit. This will be fun. This will be very fun with a natural one. So a three. Oh, a no! three? She goes over towards you. She reaches down and she pulls and the tethers begin to pull and pull. And you watch, she, you hear, everyone hears a violent ripping noise, like like a sh cloth being shredded down from its side as <laughs> she uh, pulls backwards. And you watch as Venereal just <clears throat> gives out one last breath and then falls onto the ground. Um, Venariel, you are dead. Your oh. hit point maximum has <laughs> oh been reduced God. to zero. And your maximum has also been reduced to zero. Ooh, nice. Fun. Oh my God. Good game, guys. Uh, Ebony. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... it's, just, it's just the casters left. I'm going <laughs> to att attack it again. Uh, still at disadvantage, correct? Yep. It didn't move at all? Okay. Um, come on. Hit. Uh... 16? 16? 16 yes. hits. Okay. Um uh nine uh, fire damage. Nine fire damage. Oh man, uh, I forgot to do a different spell. Oh, as you mind. throw the flame down, it doesn't matter. Oh nope, sorry. That uh it does matter. Uh the flame kind of just goes <laughs> right through it and uh and hits the ground as she um she takes the damage but is still not dead. Or vanquished. Cool. Cool. Love that. Um... Hi. He really wants to jump in my lap. Hold him. Is that your turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Orpheus. Oh, fuck. This is... I feel like my life is kind of all riding on whether or not this yeah. shocking grass hit. <laughs> um, so... Come on. No whammies. There we go. 24. 24 hits. Roll damage. Natural 19. Thank God. 
And eight points of lightning damage. Eight. You go forward and you grab at the lightning. The energy begins to coalesce around this creature. And as you kind of point your fingers forward, it zaps her. And then you watch as she just kind of like, Aah! just begins to scream. And then <laughs> she like explodes and dissipates and she's gone. I would style it as like, I take like the last essence of Venariel's like spirit. Yes. And, like, take there that you go. As, like the energy. Perfect. And, uh, you, um, <laughs> Killer. Oh my god. And you're out of combat. This, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> poor poor fucking Orpheus will just go over to over to Venariel and like like try and shake her away. You shake and you shake her and you shake her and she just kinda just moves to your to your to your arms movement. I'm like shake, 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 shake it. Uh no. No, uh, uh, I'm gonna hand, Damn it. Yeah, hand him the, the scroll, the second one that I didn't know what it did. Okay. Uh, do you, do you know what this does? Maybe it could help? Uh, I, I put her down and I'll take it and I'll attempt to this. Cast the scroll? Uh, no, I, I want to figure out what it does first. Uh, roll an arcana check. They all seem kind of like cleric spells, and I don't know how to cast those really. Nine. Nine. You have no idea what this spell scroll is. I will attempt to cast the scroll nonetheless. <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, are you a caster? I am a caster. Can you cast... I, I am a sorcerer, specifically. Um, what level spells can you cast? I can cast first, first level spells. First level, what am I talking about? Um, <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll a spell casting ability modifier check. Okay, so a charisma check? Uh, is it just the charisma plus your proficiency? Like... Well, let oh. me double check. Hang on, let me double check. Uh... <laughs> I <laughs> I disintegrate Venarius. <laughs> ah, she's just gone. Yeah, <laughs> you had you you had a disintegrate right there. Oh dear. All right. I could have swore there was like a, a check yet. A young boy, my father, <laughs> took me <laughs> into. I should not be singing that, because or else we might get freaking like copyrighted, <laughs> like we did in Just that get one fucking. On. Yeah, that was so <laughs> dumb. Yeah. I swear there were rules for this. Who 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 copyrighted it? Warner Brothers Group. Mm, I don't fucking know. Come on. I thought it was them. Uh, those guys. Sure. Those guys. Oh, those Warner Brothers. <laughs> the silly Warner Brothers. There it is. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just your spell. It says you must make an ability oh, check man. using your spell casting ability to determine okay. whether you cast it successfully. So okay. spell casting ability is that just charisma or is that charisma and proficiency? It's my I think it's just I my charisma because I think it says, All right. it says that for like detect magic or, or no it says that for uh, dispel magic. Got it. Uh, Go ahead I, make I rolled an eleven. An eleven. An for eleven. A... You uh, can you roll a intelligence saving throw? Uh oh no. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh uh. Ooh, not good. <laughs> That's a seven. Roll a d six. <laughs> This is uh, how we all die. Oh dear. I was just trying to help. Did I just cast? Did I just? Oh my god. No, I think I know what I cast on myself. I think I'm gonna be okay, but uh, I will. I will hold my breath. I rolled a three. You take out the spell scroll and you begin to read it and cast it, and uh, the spell scroll begins to slowly fade and move outwards. And you watch as uh, this this uh, as it, as it is cast and it comes outwards. Here, let me let me describe what it looks like. Um, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> a fireball. You look. You see a, a a a neutralizing effect of abjuration begin to kind of take over an area, and then you watch as three feet away, up in the ceiling, it that's where the spell takes place, and the scroll is gone. Am I like okay? 
Oh yeah, you're fine. I, I, I don't think that worked. Yeah, no, I didn't. I don't even know what the hell that is. Me like, either. Um, crap. Uh, I, I let think you know, I think uh, a, a three on a, on a scroll mishap is the spell affects a random location within the spell's range. Oh. So it just was <laughs> directly above you. <laughs> I guess I could have rolled a lot worse then. Yep. Uh, you really could have. You're you're right. <laughs> uh, uh, e, we I, I should. Think, I think V's done for. Shit. Well, she seemed like a nice, nice person. No, she was. She was. She was great. God. It's so. Uh, it's so. I'm gonna write a song about gone. her. Uh, when we get. When we get out of here. Um, Do you think we should just? I don't know. This whole thing is just like really fishy. I don't know if. Maybe really... we'll just like close her eyes. Okay. Take take like the the sheet off the bed and kind of cover her. And uh, I'll start like plucking at the strings of my lute, playing a little sad song. <laughs> we should figure out the rest of this place, and then we can come back for her. Can, yeah. I don't think anything will bother her now. Do you think that maybe, just maybe, I like take her hand, if we look, if we go downstairs and look outside that there might be somebody there waiting for us. To help? To join our party. (laughs) We could maybe go ask those kids if they know anyone. Yeah, kids, uh, I got a problem. <laughs> right out the window, like, hey, hey. what? Oh, uh, <laughs> no problem. Hey, uh, Thorn, you know how to use a sword yet? You're only like five. Yeah, right? uh, yeah, yeah, Rose, Rose you, look, you look pretty strong. Come here. <laughs> um, oh, shit. I don't know what to do. Um, because I don't want to, I don't. As much as I don't want to leave Tyler around of the rest of the adventure, it's not really my prerogative. Um, um, it's my prerogative. Well, don't worry just, about it. Okay. Let's, okay. Um, let's just keep going. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe. maybe uh, is this the last room rooms. on this level, Jacob? I, 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 the last room on this level? Yeah. Um, or are there more that I didn't, didn't see? Make an intelligence uh, check. Um... Uh, dirty 20? Dirty 20. Yes. Uh, you're aware that this house likely has an attic. Okay. Um, I'll walk out of this room and then, like, kind of look up to see if there's, like, a, a hatch to pull the, um... I don't see anything. Like, was there one in this room? Uh, you don't see anything immediately. Can like, I you, s- you search don't... for one? Roll investigation. Oh, Jacob just got someone got Delete. rid of <laughs> someone got rid of her. Oh my God, this is horrifying. Uh, uh, j- j- just so you know that the people won't see the map anymore. So oh mind. shit, I didn't I didn't think about that but, at all. Just uh, give it to me. Yeah. J- just you didn't give think me about that to when somebody. you killed her, did you, Jacob? <laughs> uh, shoot, yeah. Let me let me um. I didn't think about Aww, that. I'm so, I'm so sad. I know. That's such a I bummer. Like, fuck, <laughs> Tyler fucking died. Are nasty. Oh no. Um, let's see, uh, there, can you see now? Yeah, I can. Um, I rolled a natural one, but that's a six, so. Okay, so you look around the room, mm-hmm. and you. All the other rooms. Yeah, you, you're, uh, okay, so. <laughs> Give me one one second. This is an awesome series of facial expressions. I'm so just, like, just uh, like, uh, no. brain blast. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, you 
Um, mm -hmm. Look around the room, and you investigate, and you kind of just stare, and you look uh, under the bed, and you see this mirror. There's a mirror on the wall right here. Uh -huh. um, and uh, you don't really see much initially, but with your passive perception, you are able to notice... <laughs> Mounted on the wall next to the wardrobe is a full-length mirror with an ornate wooden frame carved to look like ivy and berries. Okay. But you do see, you notice eyeballs are among the berries. Okay. Spooky. <clears throat> but that's all you see. But no way to the attic? You don't see one initially. Uh, um, Orpheus will go through this door right uh hold on so these double doors right here take around oh, the double doors and you... i didn't even notice that yeah you see um there's also there's a door right here oh i'm gonna follow Orpheus. is this a balcony it's a balcony Ooh. you look around you see a little balcony you see a window that goes into another room right there uh, uh can i look down and see if the kids are still there they are not still there but as you look down over the balcony you do see someone up up at the entrance like the entrance of the house? Yep, and then they walk there's in. Someone. Oh. There's someone down there. Um, that's probably not uh, good. Uh what what do we what should we do? Should we should we uh, like go down and should we like Let's look in the last room and then go downstairs. Okay. I'm gonna look in here. I'll walk through this. Is that just a window? Do that's I have to go window. this way? I'll go oh, yeah, around. Look through, the, look through the window first. Look through the window first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll look through the window first. Okay. I, I you have, look through I the window, have, the dusty, <laughs> the dusty, dusty window, and you see what looks like, um, uh, the, it, you, the, it, like you look through the stained glass and you see what looks like a nursery. Oh, the baby's in there. Or whatever is left of it. Uh, maybe we should see who this person is before we try to extract the baby okay uh okay that's a good idea uh ebony will start walking downstairs and orpheus will join her Thank you, or should ebony. we maybe just like call down from the top floor like who goes there <laughs> um let's just rush him yeah, rush <laughs> do you go into the nursery at all or no no, we're going to uh, wait yeah. to do that. We're going to see who this person is. Okay, person. you guys kind of slow, you kind of make your way out, and you see the stairway, and you see the crumble of, of armor there, and, and the marble staircase heading downwards kind of slowly into darkness. Mm-hmm. You continue. Uh, I, yeah. You continue? Yeah. You head down yeah. one step. Hello? You head down another step. Yeah. I'm stalling because this is Tyler's character and I'm trying to give him more time to make oh. it. Oh. <laughs> you know, I just thought about that area. We did look. Let's go check out the baby. Okay, yeah, let's go check out that baby. Yeah. Um, I'm like, oh! Uh, <laughs> oh my god. It was like the most tense thing ever. I'm not... You're like DJ Khaled Von Zarovich. You're like another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled <laughs> Von Zarovich. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, so let's go check out the baby. Yeah, we'll go to the baby's room. Okay, you go yeah. to the nursery. Yeah. <laughs> you you head well, in. And nothing you, scary uh, is going to happen in the baby room. <laughs> the no, baby room. It's just a baby. You make your way into the nursery, and on the inside there is a crib. Mm -hmm. Covered with a hanging black shroud. It's a cool bed for a baby. That's can a I... pretty rocking bed for a baby. Can I, I dig pull the, black. the shroud back? As you pull the shroud back, you see a tightly wrapped small bundle lying in the crib. All right, all right. I know you don't like babies. I don't like babies. So stand back. I'll, yeah, you touch I'll the take baby. care of this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the little swaddling babe you reach down and as you grab the swaddling baby you uh press your hands together to grab it and the swaddle just comes together and your hands meet one another there's nothing in this and i'll just kind of like hold up the yeah the, the wrap i think you're holding like it too tight back at ebony <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Ebony. There's no baby. Oh, problem solved. Or yeah, I guess. But if there's no baby, then those dumb kids sent in our sent in us sent us in here to die. Venereal died because of some stupid prank from these kids. Do we hear the screaming and stuff that the kids specify? Yep. about the, the, the monster below. You don't. If there is one. You, you do not. Um, well, I think we should talk in the baby room for a minute. We need to... Yeah. <laughs> we need to confer. Yeah. We need to, we need to talk about what's been going on, on here. <laughs> this um, is a strange occurrence. This is, well, this is why I don't occurrence. like babies. They turn into kids who I... lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... Why don't we... Why don't we let's have, let's have a ever, little vigil? You ever for heard Venaria. of uh, you ever heard of like um like My Chemical Romance maybe? Um you wanna talk about yeah. them for a bit? Uh, uh, oh my god, did you listen to the new Panic album? Uh no. <laughs> I hate you guys. Huh? I hate uh, you guys. Oh. But you know. said hey you guys. <laughs> um let's uh I mean you guys can head I, down I don't know. I, I I can't are are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. let's go. Let's... I have a sudden good feeling about downstairs. You're, you're good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you talking about? Uh, all right. I'm so you guys make your way out, and with uh -huh. no baby in hand, you begin to make your way downstairs, and you head over towards the balcony. I, I love that. No baby in hand. No baby in you hand. Go downstairs. Uh, and you head down, and you uh, head all the way to the second floor here. Mm -hmm. um, and you are headed to the second floor as well, Orpheus. Whoa, I bamfed across the world. Yes, you did. Um, and do you guys continue going down the stairs, I assume? Yeah, we're trying to find this intruder yeah, your in oil the lamp house is we still, don't own. Is still lit, too, so um, that you now yeah. own. Um, uh, and... That we don't <laughs> Yeah, this, this is our house now. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb kids. You guys come down, and you're in the main hall once again. You don't see anybody. You think it was just another ghost or something? Like, I, I didn't not. really believe in ghosts before I came here, um, but you now I totally do, ever, especially since I... Yeah, there's a knocking is there, on the door. Is there like like a, the front a... door? Yeah, like the door to your guys' left. Uh, uh, I'll move over. Okay. And I'll just be like, Who, who's there? You're not a ghost, are you? No, I don't think so. Prove uh. it. How? Uh, I don't know. Walk through this door if you're a ghost. <laughs> I shouldn't have to open it for you, whoever you are. If you're a ghost. But if you're not a ghost, you'll have to don't open the door through. like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, so, so open the door. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ebony. If you a can, ghost. ghost yeah, a ghost wouldn't be able to open the door, but a person could. Yeah. That's why I knocked in the first place. Oh, did we lock it? <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Let me <laughs> unlock it for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, Tyler, if you want to send me an image if you want for, for your token, I can make it real fast. I, have, I don't know if it's, like, able to be shown, but... Just send it to me and I'll, I'll double check. Yeah. Um, and while you send it to me and after I'm looking at it, um, you guys see somebody open the door and head inside. Um, and you uh, can describe your character once once you send that thing to me. Yeah. Um, sure, I think this will be the one I'll use. Um, so they are very in contrast to the, to the darkness of the world. Um, they, oh boy! They 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 appear to be a uh, half elf, um, wearing like white uh, clothes and armor with like silver accents, um, and like blonde hair. But they also look kind of similar to um, Venario uh -oh. in, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa. You look like, like our friend. Seeing, yeah, it looks like we're seeing a ghost. I thought you said you weren't a ghost. I'm I'm not. What's your well, name? Who are you? Not I'm a Ariel. ghost. Ariel. Oh. 
No, how, are you, you got any? Uh, you got any sisters? You yeah. got any sisters with similar sounding names? I can't believe yes, Tyler my... pulled the the yield. My character died, and I pulled their twin sister into the game, who not is twin. also named thank you very much. similarly. <laughs> not twin. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I got some bad news for you. What well, did you I get don't. into this Ebony. time? Ebony, Ebony, Ebony has bad news for you. Uh, Ebony? I, uh, your t sister, uh, she went on vacation. Um, she's dead. <laughs> she, she, um, you kind of vacation, like not again, like a really again? long one. Again. Um, again. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, this isn't the first time this has happened. I'm gonna. Okay, okay. <sighs> Wait, what do you mean? This isn't the first time this well, has happened. Well, she's upstairs. She's under a sheet. We kind of. She's under a sheet. All right. Well, it's a very I'll... nice. I guess I'll have to collect her then. Um, yeah, it's like. A, a, yes, this, this this isn't the first time this has happened to her. So, oh, well, then you can what? fix it. <laughs> she gets herself into a lot of trouble. I'm here to clean up her up her messes more often than not. Did you talk to the kids? No, what kids? Oh. I just knew that she was Listen. headed in that direction. I don't like that the ghost kids bad... are here. Like, where'd they go? There's some bad kids. stuff going on in this house. We. We got tricked by some weird kids, evil kids. coming in here, They're and evil. we got attacked by animated suits of armor. And Could have been ghosts in the armor, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. Ebony. Um, and maybe a ghost with a broom, and definitely a ghost that, like, ripped out your sister's, like, Do you think essence. that it was, like, the mom? That was the mom ghost that killed your sister, and then the dad ghost was in the armor, and then maybe they had a maid who just got, you know, strung up in all this mess, and she was the broom. That's horrible. Maybe the maid was the one that had the illegitimate child. I think we're on to something here. <laughs> I, the plot thickens. We need to find these kids. What? Where yeah. The fuck they are. They couldn't have gone far. There's nowhere else to go in this shit. What are you even talking about? <laughs> it's a lot Listen, to explain. Ariel, fucking, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll just go with it. This, this, this Listen, place, this... You wouldn't understand what we've been um, through yet. Like, you, Little you Mermaid, to, you what are to... you saying? Huh? We've been through a look. We've been through a lot in yeah. the past. What? Like, let me look at my wrist and figure that out. Are you new minute. to? Are you new to Barovia? <laughs> two hours. It's been two hours and forty minutes. Yeah. New to Barovia. Welcome to Barovia. Thank you. I hate it here. Me too. Uh, Thanks, um, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, there's some bad stuff going on in this house, and I... I think... I, I won't be surprised. We should find the basement. Uh, do you know what, listen, who, who owns this if, place? I don't know. The Dursts. Yeah, the Dursts. Oh, the Dursts. Um, okay, all right, all right, all right. You know them? They're, they're a noble family? That's as far as I know. <sighs> we met their Weird kids. how nobody knows about this no. supposedly noble family other than the fact that they're noble... But I guess fuck they kept, the establishment, they, right? Well, they kept themselves, and they haven't been seen for a long time. So, yeah. mm -hmm. and then their kids kind of turn up out of nowhere. I don't like mm -hmm. that. Anyway, look, we gotta figure out. They said there's a monster in the basement. Um, there, there, there's rooms on this floor that we haven't checked. Maybe we can check. find something here. Yeah, maybe. Do then. you? Do, does oh, by the way, look, Jacob, there's a. Does, does, it, it, it's A U R. Ariel. No, does Ariel. Ariel look badass? Like, does she look like she can handle herself in a fight? Uh, she looks like she can, but maybe she's a little bit um, more on the goody two shoes innocent side compared to her sister. So maybe a sure. little bit less. Okay, so we got the good twin. <laughs> yeah, not, not twin. She she looks. Oh, so, uh, Ariel looks slightly younger than um, than Ariel. Than Ariel. Um, look, uh, Ariel, I apologize for any uh, wrong feet that have been gotten off on. No, there's no wrong feet. Yes. Wrong feet? Um, but uh, we got a. I, I, I considered your sister a good friend, even though I only knew her for two days. <laughs> um, okay. Well. In her. her her silence spoke volumes to me and inspired my next yeah. work, which I, mean, I have yet to write. Um, but listen, okay. I cannot rest until I know what the 
fuck is going on in this fucked up house and killed your sister. Um, so will you join us in our quest to figure out what the hell is going on here? Because <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's not like her soul is going anywhere anytime soon. I, so. Yeah, I guess not. Um, mm. and her body she'll is always upstairs. be with you. That's, that's crazy. We should um go in one of these rooms. Uh, something like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. We should. And I think I have to go really quick. Uh, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. So break. let's take another break, and we'll be back <gasps> yeah. in two more seconds as Jack has to go do some busy stuff. Welcome back. We're back again uh, here here to play and continue uh, been some dying changes. through the death house. <laughs> <laughs> um, dying through the death house. <laughs> All right, so Ebony, Orpheus, and Ariel, you guys are all on the ground floor of the supposed death house. Um, you're on the main floor. There's doors all surrounding you in the in the marble staircase that makes its way upwards into the upper levels. What do you do? Should we uh, look around? I know we space? talked about like potentially looking around the ground floor and seeing if we can find anything. So yeah, let us do that. Okay. Uh, what? Where are you guys going? What door? Um, my map still is not quite so. loaded yet. Uh, okay. Give me just a sec. Uh, on the you're gonna look around the ground floor. You said. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the entry doors. Um, you've got a door to uh to the uh, west, door to the and then like one, two, three, four doors to the east. Okay. Um. In case you can't see them, because Spencer has a hard time seeing them. There are these little tiny white yep. rectangles. Here. Yeah, it's, it's 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 not that. It's just that like <laughs> this laptop is super crappy. Oh no no no! I know. <laughs> I was just I was pointing them out to everybody else. It's it's all good. Um, so uh, yeah, you've got you've got I'll a let, lot of I'll doors. I'll let somebody else who can see decide. Um, yeah, we can go in this one. Great. Um, I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Uh, Ebony uh, kind of goes forward towards one of the doors in the east, one of the four. Uh, and there's, it's basically like a, it's like a hallway with like a turn, um, it's like a corner. And on the mm -hmm. corner are two doors, the left and right. You go um, to the one on the left or the right? The one that's like right in front of me. That one. But I want to listen first. Both are directly right in front of you. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I want this one. This one right here. Okay. You want to listen? Roll perception. Yeah. I don't want to die to a, a monster in the room. Um... That would be a 13, but my passive is 14. You hear silence. Right. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'll open the door. You open the door and you head in. Uh -huh. You see what looks like a dining room. Centerpiece of this wood paneled dining room is carved mahogany table surrounded by eight high back chairs with sculpted armrests and cushioned seats. There's a crystal chandelier that hangs above the table which is covered with resplendent silverware and crystalware polished to a dazzling shine. Mm. Mounted above the marble fireplace is a mahogany-framed painting of an alpine veil. Um, yep. Uh, and also, the wall paneling is carved with elegant images of deer among the trees. But you notice, Ebony, along the wall you see twisted faces carved into the tree trunks and wolves lurking among the carved foliage. Yikes. Um, they're like, are they curtains? These? Like right here? Uh, yeah, yes. those are curtains up there. Is there anything behind them? You pull back the curtains and you don't see anything. They're red silk drapes cover the windows. And that's a tapestry, actually, depicting oh. hunting dogs and horse-mounted aristocrats chasing after a wolf that hangs from an iron rod. Oh, the tapestry hangs from an iron rod bolted to the south wall. Okay. Um, over here. Quite a fancy place here. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty cool. Was, it's pretty cool. Definitely got a weird <laughs> kind of vibe to it, though. Like, yeah, you know, I've played some, oh. I've played some creepy places before, but this place takes the cake. Mm -hmm. well, that one just leads back out here. Where does this uh, one lead? Can I go? A, can I? Yep, it's a closet. It's oh, got is some, there anything? It's got some coats hanging. It has. Oh. And, and another broom, roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Is there anything can... inside the coat pockets? Uh, nothing inside the coat pockets. Oh. I'll check out this door over here, now that my roll 20 has finally started to work. Just nice. so you know, Jacob, I'm kind of always going to be in the doorway when someone goes in there. That way, um, 
I can see into the room. That's fine. Um, so Orpheus, this room is uh, what looks like it, it's a hunter's den. Um, mounted mm. above the fireplace is a stag's head, and positioned around the outskirts of the room are three stuffed wolves. There are two <laughs> padded chairs draped in animal furs that face the hearth, with an oak table between them supporting a cask of wine. Two carved wooden goblets, a pipe rack, and a candelabrum. Chandelier hangs above a cloth-covered table surrounded by four chairs. There are also two cabinets against the wall, um, and that is it. Could I check out the the cask of wine? Yeah, you go to the cask of wine. Um, as you make your way over towards it, it looks like um, it's just a regular little cask. It's got a spigot on it. Could I grab one of the the cups and yeah. attempt to see if it still has something yeah. in it? Oh, and on the side, kind of uh, emblazoned onto the side of the the um, the, uh, the the cask, it just reads the Wizard of Wines. And as you okay. kind of do, 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 you fill it up a bit, there's a bit of wine in a cup now. Now I want some wine. <laughs> I'm oh, like, uh. What is it? Is it like a red or? Yeah, it's like a red. It's like a red blend. It smells fruity. Um, it's a bit lighter, but still very bitter as you kind of uh, smell it. So this is a red. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it Obviously. looks like this. Can I look uh, in some like a uh, cabinet? Uh, you look through the cabinet. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, give me a second. Um, you go through the cabinet, um, oh. and as you go over towards it, you see a lock on the front of it. Oh, it's locked. Not a padlock, mm. but it's just like it's like a little brass lock kind of set into it. And you can, when you kind of pull it open, it doesn't open. Is the other one locked as well, just from like looking over at um, it? That one? Um, yeah. It, it looks like it could be locked. Um... These are both locked. Do you think there's something important inside? Well, why, I mean, why else would they I'd, lock uh, cabinets? Yeah, I don't know. You know. To keep their children. I, I always keep the important things locked away. As I take a sip of the wine, <laughs> it's very pretty, gingerly. The wine isn't bad. It's 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 lost a bit of its flavor. Um, it seems a bit uh, like it's it tastes very like vinegary a little bit like it's it's got that sourness to it mm. but there's still wine flavor to it it's still relatively good it's just not the best you've ever had I I, I take a drink and I'm like and I put it down and I just <laughs> <need> it <there. laughs> no do not drink the wine why is it spicy <laughs> <laughs> um can I try to pry the, the the door open with my crowbar? Sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> Roll an athletics check. Okay. Athletics uh, 12. <laughs> you take the crowbar and you kind of pry it in there. And as you kind of put the wine down, or if you see like, mm, you turn around and you just see uh, Ebony put her foot down on the ground and she and her, and her, um, her arm kind of just cranks forward and um and I, I assume you're opening this one um uh, which one yes that one and you just watch this crunch and you just watch as it snaps open and the lock kind of ding 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 falls onto the ground and and the doors just kind of uh, sway and open off to the side um and inside the cabinet ha there's a heavy crossbow okay a light crossbow okay a hand crossbow Okay. And 20 bolts for each weapon. Oh, mm. uh, oh Venario. <laughs> yeah, but, I could have, yeah. she's like, I could have had two. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I would have had a field day on there. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I'll, I'll walk over to the other one and try to do the same. You stick the crowbar in and it just opens. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't um, there's a small box. Ooh. And an assortment of wine glasses. I open the box. It is a deck of playing cards. Hmm. Uh, I I will take a light crossbow and twenty bolts. You do Just that. Stick it in my bag and there you go. Put okay. the bolts in there as well. Twenty bolts. Very nice. Well, no All monster right. in here. No, do it not seem like it's Just a bunch of freaky wolves. Yeah. I. I kind of pat one of the wolves on the head. Just pat it, and it's it's. It's like, 
<laughs> it's just, <laughs> ah, and it kind of like it like wobbles a bit as like you hit it, and its whole body just kind of moves at once. Oh, I like. Another, there was I like, another door I like down the hall my, the other way. I like wipe my hand through the mouth like sideways. <laughs> Expecting for it to fight, it never does. <laughs> well, uh, let's get out of here then. Moose, you're right where I like my foot to be. Oh, right. he knows. I'm gonna go into this door, right here to the right. The door opens. Oh. Uh, and this is a kitchen. It's very tidy. Dishware, cookware, and utensils neatly placed on shelves. And uh, there's a work table with a cutting board with a rolling pin. There's a stone dome-shaped oven that stands near the east wall. A bent iron stove top connecting to a hole in the ceiling. Behind the stove uh, and to the left is a thin door. There's a thin door. You guys also notice right here, um, this this was up in the, um, in the, uh, the big room. You guys noticed um, it was up near the 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 what was it the the, the master bedroom up there. Mm -hmm. uh, this tiny you guys see this tiny little thing right here. Mm -hmm. um, that is a wow. dumb waiter. Yep. And it is a little oh. hole in the wall. You can ring a bell and you can elevate little things that go up. Like food. Yep. I suppose we should check that out that door. That's, that seems to be the last one down on this level. Yeah. You guys are headed towards the basement. All right, after you. Why me? I'll go, I'll go. Uh, hold on, I just need to pan my view. All right, Orpheus, you step in. Make a death saving throw. Uh -oh. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a pantry, um, and there's lots of food on the inside. Pantry of death. Yep, like potatoes and carrots and cabbage and bread and, and spices and all sorts of things. But there's mold, it, so death saving throw. Does, there's no mold. Does it look fresh? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else? Like... Um, that I can potatoes. see? Potatoes. Uh, Man, Jeremy would have a field day in here. Like, ah! <laughs> Um, yeah, you see, you see, uh, yeah, lots of things. Just lots of veggies and lots stuff. Of veggies and mm. breads and wheats and spices. Well, I know that the, man, I, I know that the upstairs was like super deadly and dangerous, but I'm honestly a little disappointed with the downstairs. Isn't there Gotta another say. door that we haven't gone through? Like, haven't we no, not gone through this we, one? I think we've covered everything. Did we go through this one? That's the front oh. door. This is the front door? Yeah, that yes. leads out to the front door, That's into the right, foyer. <laughs> has to go through to check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe we could check out the second floor a little more. There was a lot of stuff that we didn't really like check out up there, I think. All right. To the second uh, floor. Yeah, let's go. I'll 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 take point. Boop. Boop. Guys are on the second check floor. Check all this out. Did we go through this door here? I don't remember. You can put yourself through it if you want. Oh, no, we did not. This is a new room. No, uh, oh, everybody else, no, you guys we... have gone through, you had stepped away for a minute. It. Yeah. If this is a room with a, there's a, oh. there's a harp here, there's a harpist cord here, um, there's chairs along the wall, tapestries, and that's about it. Hmm, okay. Never mind then. Uh, I think there's an attic, but... Um, we gotta I find it. Couldn't find the way up. Is, uh, there wouldn't be a way up in here. Ariel, what's your passive perception? Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check hmm. again upstairs. Yeah, let's let's do that. Oh. Are we heading upstairs then? Yes. Third floor. Wait, is that a door right there by the by the by the Stop stairs? Stop moving yourselves. I didn't move myself at all. <laughs> not I, I know, not put, you. I was Tyler. I, I, I did not put myself there. I was just moving you, and then suddenly you vloop, you went across the middle. That's weird, because I did not put myself there. Okay. Where, no. where, where Roll 20 up? is haunted! I, I, I don't know. I was not I, I, I was not clicking my character. Sorry, I'll go ahead and put you guys back here. You guys are on the second floor. I'm just going to start floor. looking for uh, uh, any ways up further. Go ahead and well, roll a perception. It certainly check. looks a lot different up here than down there. 
kind of Natural wipes the, 20. the dust off of one of the walls. Add your modifier. 25. All right. 24, sorry. That is enough. In the west wall, you look over and uh, 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 Ebony is just like walking around. She sees the pile of the animated armor you guys fought. You see the, the these little things that you had lit before. As you're walking around, you kind of peer over the side. You push and you see something on the wall. And the two of you watch as Ebony walks to the wall and pushes on it. And a secret door opens. Secret door. Secret door. Secret, <laughs> secret tunnel. <laughs> you see a stairway that goes up and around. Um, I will head up. Hey, wait for uh, me. Quiet, quietly, if I can. Stealthily. Wow, okay, that's weird. Okay. I moved you and then it moved you back. Ha. Huh. Jacob, can I stealth? Yes, you can. Well, if she's stealthing, I'm stealthing. Might as well, we might all as well. Ah, you get? not very cash money of the D&D Beyond <laughs> dice the player cash. app. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have dice. Oh. I want to roll this myself on my electronic dice roller. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what'd you get, Ariel? I got 17. Ebony? Seven. Nice. 12. All right. You guys slowly and quietly make your way up the stairway. Mm -hmm. There's a door. I will listen at the door. Roll a perception check. I almost said roll a listen check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes uh, little 3.5 likes to sneak back into my mind. My passive <laughs> is 14. There was listening and then there was, uh, what was it? Um, sick perception. Oh, spot? Spot check. Oh my <laughs> god. Just unlocked a memory. Spot <laughs> checks. Whew. All right. Um... Uh, you listen beyond the door and you hear silence. I'll try to quietly open the door. Door slowly opens very quietly. You see what looks like a bare hall that is choked with dust and cobwebs. I'll move in a little bit further so everyone else can come up. Just to let you guys know, a five foot square is rather large. Yeah. Your yeah. mini is like you, the three people can easily stand in a five foot square. So if you guys are all in one spot, it's not a big deal. It's not like you guys are like, like shoulder to shoulder here. <laughs> yeah. We're no, social just... distancing, Jacob. <laughs> oh, got it. Got it. Sorry. I forgot. Yeah. yeah like, to, to be honest, you guys are really like, like, <laughs> you guys are like this big. <laughs> spread apart. Well, you should be like that big. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's how big your body actually is. Yeah, so, I understand that. It's just, right. it's it's easier to just all be in one spot. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Um, Is this a window or is it a door? It is a window. Okay. Window looks out to the, uh, it, it looks out to um, a, window. a, uh, it's a door. It's a window it's door. It's a window door. <laughs> it's a tiny little <laughs> attic window, completely dusty. It looks down to like the, um, to the, uh, like roof. <laughs> And then down again to the balcony on the third level. Okay. Um, you see a door here. A door here. A yeah, door I here. Can, I, I, yeah, I see. I see them all. I see. Yep. Mm -hmm. A door here. Yep. Doors and the door here. upon doors. There's a door uh, right there. Yeah. A door right here. There's oh, no door what? There. Um, oh, there's no door there. I'll go to there's this door. door. And can I it go is inside? hard to breathe in here as you guys make your way up. The vaulted ceiling above you, it, it, you know, the attic is just like, it, it's just strange that there's rooms up here too. Like it's a bit closer towards like your head. Like it's, it sits at about exactly six feet. So feels a little bit more cumbersome. And um, the, the air is just filled with dust and cobwebs. As you go over to that door, it is locked. Um, you wouldn't happen to know how to unlock a door, would you? Either of you? I do not. All right, crowbar it is then. <laughs> Suppose it is. I'm gonna try to put my crowbar into where the like the the uh, the hinge of the door is, or not the hinge where the door closes. And as you look down, it is a it's a padlock on the on the on the door. Okay. You're still gonna try to crowbar it. Yes. 
All right. Just going to let you know this is going to be pretty difficult. So That's go fine. ahead and roll that athletics check. Can I use the help action here? Um, yeah, hang on. <laughs> I'm almost certain yes. See, Tyler and I have both bailed on the scene theme. Well, even Spencer removed the scene hair. <laughs> no, I just put my hair up. Just yeah. put her hair up. All right. Yes, you can. Go ahead and you have advantage as um, as uh, uh, Ariel comes over and she like puts her arms on the side of the cr crowbar and the two of you kind of heave it. It'll be a sixteen. And it just it just like pushes the wood in. And the two of you like, and it comes off to the side and you just hear the padlock kind of clank together. And the two of you are holding on to the end of it. And you're, the, the combined strength of the two of you is not enough to pry open this door. Hmm. <sighs> well, that's well, that's a bummer. Is the door uh, like wooden? Is it a wooden yeah, door? Yeah, it's a wooden door. I could always set it on fire. You have a right door. <laughs> Do you have a way to put the fire out? Nope. Mm. <laughs> I um, don't want to die today. No, me either. But um, I was just like it's like half a joke. Right. I don't know. Maybe maybe if we go through like which door were you were you working on? Is it is it this one here in front of you? Uh, yeah, that one. Maybe this. Maybe one if we go, we'll let's around. go through this. Let's go through the door down there, and maybe we can like see deeper into this room, like like a window into the soul or something. I know. Right. Uh, Jacob, I'll go a little further down the hall and try to open that this one. It was my idea. Wait for me. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. You make your way down towards that door, um, uh -huh. and uh, it opens easily. Uh, and as you right. head in... It's a web-filled room that contains a slender bed, a nightstand, a rocking chair, a wardrobe, and an iron stove. Mm. Is there anything in this, like, cabinet right here? You go and open it up and you don't find anything. Mm. Is this a, a door right here? Is this a window? Yeah, that's a I door. Think that's a window. Oh, that's a door? That's a door. I'll open it. All right. I'll go back out. Oh! doesn't look fun <laughs> this dusty chamber is packed with old furniture chairs coat racks standing mirrors dress mannequins and the like there's mannequins mm -hmm. and it's like you see like vaguely human shapes and they don't seem to move all draped in dusty white sheets so it's difficult to tell like they're what they really are underneath but you get an idea as like light kind of peers through them near an iron stove Iron Near stove. the iron stove, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing. No. There's chairs, awesome. coat racks, standing mirrors, dress mannequins, and the like. And this is a window? And that is a window. Okay. Go back well, this is certainly creepy. Creepier than some places, at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's still one more door that we can open, maybe. And then we'll have to try to figure out how to get the other door open. Yeah, that's like a, um, as you kind of pass by it, or if it's the one right next to you by the stove, is in fact like a wooden box. Uh, oh, this one like here? No, nah, this one. Uh, yeah, 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 sorry, the one right there. Yeah, it's a box. Oh, if it looks like a box, then I'll... Like the rest of them is like furniture, and then that one's a box. I'll peel off the... You pull it off. The, the, the dust, dust kind of goes over, and you see like an old, yeah, <laughs> cough a bit. You see like this wooden oh. trunk. This graveyard of things forgotten, discarded, just like me. <laughs> just like Venario's body downstairs. She's not for discarded. I'm just I'm dealing with just other things. Messing first. around, will you lighten up? Yeah. Uh, I, Have you seen that side? Just your dead sister. Um, I'll, uh, I'll open the box. Lighten up, it's just What's your dead sister. What's in the box? You open the, the trunk, box. and you, as, as you open it, inside are skeletal remains 
of someone in a nurse outfit. And the clothing is tattered. And it's wrapped in like a bed sheet. And the bed sheet has holes through it that have blood all over it. Oh. Oh. What'd you find? A murder scene. Uh, <laughs> we should contact the police now. <laughs> um, I don't think there will be oh any God. coming anytime soon. You just found uh, like a whole dead people. body? Skeletal remains of one. Kind of like the one downstairs. Can I like pull it out? Yeah, you pull it out. It kind of crunches and creaks as you pull it out. Ta-da! Um, As he holds it up, the head falls back and the skull kind of <laughs> falls on the ground. Dibs. Um, and I'll put the I'll put the, <laughs> yeah, you put the, the body thing back in the box. It's not hard I'll to tell that the... as you guys look at it, it's like covered in like a bed sheet. And mm-hmm. the bed sheet has a bunch of like holes stuck through it with the dry blood. It's very clear that like these are stab wounds. Mm-hmm. And I'll pick up the, the skull and I'll... New skull. A little bit of hair on the like... sides of it. Oh, this one's different. I love it. Um, I, I'll, I'll be like, I think we should go to a different room. I think oh, that's a great that's idea. Not very oh, right. lighten up. It's not it. like any, anyone's in here anymore. Um, not anymore, no, but... Ebony will head towards the other. I'll, like, corner. fiddle around with one of the teeth, and then it, like, comes out, and I'll just, like, chuck it <laughs> to the you'll, corner of the room. You'll head to Put the, the other room. And... Yeah, the other room. What other I'll just go back in the trunk and close it. This one? Oh, okay. Um, you head over, and uh, you open the door. Oh. And this is uh, a dust-choked room with a slender bed, nightstand, small iron stove, writing desk, stool, empty wardrobe, and rocking chair. There is also a smiling doll in a lacy yellow dress sits in the northern window box. Cobwebs draping it like a wedding veil. Um, that one's just for you, Spencer. Thank you. Is it a porcelain a doll, or is it just like a like a cloth doll? You can see it on the map there. It's just a cloth doll. Okay. Ooh. Is there anything in this dresser? No. All right. Well, um, they kept their children in the attic. That's strange. Um. How about you take a swing at uh, getting the door open, Orpheus? Can I borrow your crowbar? Sure. I want athletics. Uh, I will. Can I help them? Yes. Cool. The two of you grab onto your uh, grab onto the crowbar and both pull at it and wrench it forward. Plus one, two athletics. That's a three. Oh, but I have advantage. Yeah. I have advantage. Yeah. That's an eighteen. Eighteen. You pull and you pull and you f- you hear a crunch on the door. It's it's like like try to imagine like you you have this wedged in there and the two of you at first like pulled it and it was like thud and it was like oh fuck this is not opening and now you have it and it's like you pull and then you're like pushing it and it's like and it's like crunching and pushing and then eventually wham it slams open as the padlock kind of ting ting falls onto the ground you're like sweating orpheus ebony you're like oh, that was really really tough to do and the door is now completely open and as it opens down you see this room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood framed beds sized for children Closer to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons, wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles, a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Oh my... Well, there seems to be a lot of death in this place. Is this um, the ghost children you were talking about? The doll looks really familiar, Ab. Looks familiar. A little too familiar. Pick it up. As you pick up the doll, out of the skeletons, oh. two ghostly figures of the children, Rose and Thorn, appear in the middle of the room. The two of them look around and see that and they're like floating 
and you can see mm -hmm. uh, that at, um, as they stare around towards all of you, and they go, um, hello. Hey, yourself. Um, R Rose and Thorn, I presume? Yes. What are you, um, what are you doing here? Trying to help you guys out, but oh. I think we might be a little too late. We're dead. Sorry, that's Jack laughing. Oh, yeah, I know, that's funny. Um, I can see that. And that's... That sucks. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, R. Sorry, T. Um, listen, uh, we're, we're trying to figure out what's going on here. And uh. we've just been running into a lot of bad stuff. Our friend just died downstairs. May she rest in eternal rock and roll peace. Oh, um, that happens uh, a lot here. In the house, or...? Yes. Do you Care know to what happened? Elaborate? Oh, I just know I've heard a lot of people die here. Is this Rose talking? Yes. Uh, okay. Um... Pretty nifty dollhouse you got there. Yes. My, my parents never got me anything like that when I was a kid. Screw those guys. Uh, our parents locked us in the attic to protect us from the monster, and then we starved to death. What monster? Cool. I don't know. There's a monster in the basement. Where's the basement? I couldn't find it. There's a secret door in the attic. She points at the dollhouse. What? I'll go over to the dollhouse. You go over to the dollhouse and you see that... You can kind of see that there is a... Uh, like an area of the... Uh, um, here. Uh, you, you see a replica of like the, the doll... Uh, of the house before you. Okay. And... You notice that there is in the in the storage room you're able to see that there is uh, a, a like secret door on the inside that leads to like a staircase okay do I know can I figure out where in the house that would be then? Yeah, you're aware it's like, it's it's over here. Okay. Do you want us to kill the monster still? Yes. Please. Okay. It's very scary. Alright. We can well, totally do that. Wait, does, yeah. that mean, does that mean you're going to leave? Are you going to leave? And you watch as mm. uh, Thorn kind of walks up to and he says, Please don't leave. No, don't uh, abandon us. Well, we'll be right back. We, yeah, yeah, we gotta... Yeah, we, we gotta go, kid. Sorry, T, but uh, um, I'm out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna hand uh, Thorn the little doll that Orpheus, I took. Orpheus, I need you... Fuck. As as you begin to walk away, Thorn kind of looks left and right, and he and he like freaks out, and he flies forward and goes like into your body. I need you oh, to no. roll a charisma saving throw. Uh oh. Hypothetically, I'm good at those. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, saving throw. That's a plus five. Come on now. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> you guys watch as uh, Thorn, the small child, poof, goes into Orpheus's body, and you just go Ooh. shiver, Orpheus. I'm gonna message you. Oh. No. All right. Um. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. 
Rose, where does uh, Thorn go? Hmm? Where's Thorn? She went to Orpheus. Thorn. Orpheus? What? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Are you in your own head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm fine. Um, Do you hear you... any other voices in your head? No, no. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. I, uh, I just feel really weird though. Uh, is it really dark up here? It's like, uh, it's like really dark up here. I'm kind of, kind of, feeling a little faint. It's freaky up here. Miss Sorry. Rose, you, you say how it's. Our mm. friend here is your, your brother. Don't worry. Well, I suppose we should leave then. Unless you're going to do the same thing with us, Rose. Please don't leave. We're going to go kill the monster. What if you come with us then? Somehow. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Here, why don't you take your little doll? Hand it to her. You hand it to her and it falls through her hand. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you just, you just walk with us. Come on. She begins to kind of float alongside you. Yeah, come with us. And mm -hmm. she floats and she floats. You can just, you can just wait while we we'll, while we kill the monster, and then you'll be okay. Orpheus takes one look at the two skeletons on the floor, screams, and runs out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> ah! She runs out and goes and cowers in this corner over here, right. crying. Orpheus, are you all right? No, there's dead bodies in there. Yeah, we. You were playing know. with a, You were playing with the skull like two minutes ago. Oh. So Rose, where was this um? Sorry, guys. This staircase was over here, correct? This direction. To the mm -hmm. basement. All right, then. Stay behind us, and we'll deal with what is down there. Are you guys coming, Ebony? I don't Orpheus, know if I want let's to go, go down there. It's scary down there. Well, you'll be with but you, us. But you have us. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. Who, me? Both of you. Okay. Mm. Sweet. Natural 20. Makes we'll it add your I got a... 27? Yeah. Okay. I got a 10. She kind of like puffs down. She says, okay. You know what? Are you... She, she kind of like um, kind of kneels to so kind of be on the same eye level as best as mm -hmm. she can with um little girl. Mm -hmm. Your brother is in Orpheus, right? Mm hmm Would you feel safer if you were in someone else? Mm. Instead of um, out by yourself? Um, yeah. Then you can come and, and share me. Okay. <laughs> she just goes into your body. Yeah. Do, do you fail the save? I willingly fail the save. All right, you guys watch as Rose uh, just forces herself into into Ariel, and all right. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, all right. Let's get Are moving. We... All right. I know where we're headed. Uh, just uh, 
uh, uh, Tyler, your other character, just drinking out of their skull. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. She, she, she totally wore that type of helmet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys see a secret door that opens up right here and makes their way into a stairway. And, uh... Just, uh kind of show the... Oh! Yeah, yeah. There. Stairway is stairway, right... Yeah. Yeah. I'll just have you move me, Jacob. I don't want to... Orpheus, you see it right here. And Orpheus, you put everything together and you realize that this is the small room that made that noise much, much earlier. Jacob? Yep, I heard you. Or and you Orpheus. guys... Orpheus stays in the back and goes down like very slowly and tentatively. <laughs> All right, you guys slowly make your way down the stairway and eventually into... The Dun Dun Dungeon. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. dun Dun Dungeon. <laughs> Where is the dungeon? And oh. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some new ambiance. As you guys come down, oh geez, I'm gonna have to. Oh boy, hang on, I'm gonna have to remake your uh, things here. God, this ambiance is so cool. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I wish I had this when I was running this freaking dungeon. Oh my gosh. Um. You can, uh, can you, can you guys all hear it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys hear the chanting in the background? Love it. I mean, I you don't, listen, but I you, do. You listen closely. The chanting is, he is ancient. He is the yeah. land. Yeah. Which is pretty fucking sick, so. Yeah. Very cool okay. Curse of Strahd stuff. So, um, let me go ahead and give you guys some sight here. Some, uh, uh. I like sight. You have um you have a torch. Ebobi. Ebobi. Ebobi does have a torch, yes. I have dark vision. Who went first down the um down the stairway? You did? Okay. Ariel. Um and everybody else has dark vision, right? No, I don't. I have I have 120 yeah, feet of dark say. vision. I have all the dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, can you can everybody see? Mm, I don't have, I can't see. Oh. Neither can I. You can't? I oh, can oh, because I didn't give you guys. <laughs> Control. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, Why is a bobby at the front? Sorry, I'll move him around. Hang on. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, man, this dungeon. So, you guys make your way down slowly th the, through the staircase. And um, it's it eventually ends in this. Um, there's a gnat. I'm trying to kill it. It's really annoying. Rip in the dungeon. I will end you. Secret gnat. Yeah. In the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually, they make their way to a five foot five five foot five foot wide shaft of mortared stone. It starts in the attic, descends into the dungeon level, passing through the lower levels of the house as you make your descent. Thick cobwebs fill the shaft and reduce your visibility to only about five feet. As you make your way down, you guys level up. <gasps> yeah. Level up. Level up. Is it like Skyrim where we get all of our hit wow. points back? <clears throat> you do uh, recover your new hit points that you gather, though. You gain. Cool. 
Ooh, I get my... Okay, so let's see. What would be nice here? Um... You get invocations, don't you? I do. And then your packed boon at three. Yeah. Eh, probably the site isn't gonna be super helpful down here. I think I might have to actually go into this the website to level up because I don't think they've quite hit that point with the. They haven't hit level up point on the app yet. I guess not. Mm. Oh, that's probably. Uh... Manage levels. <sighs> Level up. Ooh, and I get sorcery points. Nice. Ooh, just to let you guys know, as soon as you make your way down into this dungeon level, you guys can hear that chanting. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, it's coming from the southern direction. I don't know, Tyler, is it? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of them have a very specific direction, Yes, it, it is but... coming from the, um, from, uh, like this direction. Yeah. Technically it'd be the west. Yeah, but southern on this type map is actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because D&D likes to always have the maps turned in funky directions. I don't know. It's dumb. <laughs> I suppose we should follow the chanting then. Also heading this direction. All right. And just to let you guys know, in this spot specifically, um, the tunnels are four feet wide and seven feet high with timber braces every five foot interval. So those little squares are like uh -huh. are, are uh, planks of wood going up and supporting the ceiling, basically. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and <laughs> yeah, it is it is very, very dark. So um, Ebony with her with her um, torch is making it very easy to see. You guys can see in the dark, though. And there's this constant chanting going throughout the walls. And this is one of the few places where you guys can't, like, it's hard to squeeze past one another spots because there's only four yeah. feet. So it's, like, it's a very th thin hallway. Yep. Um, and you guys, is everybody finished leveling up? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I need spells. Oh, I spells. Sorry. Did you guys yeah, do your spells. hit, um, your, your, um, your dice? Your, your... Yeah. 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 I have 14 maximum hit points now, but I only have 11 as of right now. Cool. And I need to take one more spell. Do we get all of our spell slots back? No, you do not. If you gained any new ones, yeah. then you have those. <laughs> That's fine. I think I'm in a better spot because I have... Well, in that case, I'll just automatically spend my two sorcery points to get back as first level spell slot. Okay. I need to add one new first level spell. What should it be? Um... So you guys see Ariel kind of uh, making her way off, going downwards, uh, uh, turning, uh, making a right at the uh, at the end of the staircase and heading down. Sorry, I'm giving you guys your names here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna go any further until like I know what the rest of the group is right. doing. I don't um, get Ebony ahead. is following right behind you. Um, and Orpheus, Jacob. are you following? Yeah, what's up? Uh, just really quick, so I spent two sorcery points to get back to first level spell slot. I'm immediately using that first level spell slot to cast False Life on myself. Sounds good. My newest spell. Okay. I'll take some shadow out of the darkness very, very, like, <laughs> hesitantly, like, just a little bit, and I'll just yep. kind of like... <laughs> Perfect. Um, and you still have, like, five hours left on your mage armor. Yeah, okay. And I have... Ooh, I get, I get seven temporary hit points, so that's nice. 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 Okay. All right. Um, Ebony and Ariel have turned down the corner out of your sight. Um, Orpheus is going to stay there. 
<laughs> Actually, Orpheus will will come to the end of the of the of the the thing and look both ways. I'm just you see Ebony like, and Ariel down here, right? Like slink back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which way is the from, from this junction? I'm, I'm, I I want to listen to see if I can tell which way the um the chanting's coming from. From where you are right now, it sounds like it's coming from this direction. This direction? Yeah. Uh, Ebony's going to try to get Orpheus to come with her. Like, grab his shoulder and pull him. He comes she'll, along. She'll, 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 she'll be, like, listening <laughs> but, for us. Are, are you, but, listening to anything? Like, you, you two come in? Yep. It's scary. She'll, like, take his hand and pull him along. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I thought you weren't afraid start, of anything. He'll start to cry. <laughs> Don't cry. He's just crying. <laughs> it's all right. Let it all out. I don't want to go down there. You're fine. The sooner we finish up down here, the sooner we can get out. Okay. Step this way. Oh, over into my friends. Corridor. Um, it's uh, it's like these like just like dug out like holes in the in the ground um, here uh, as you like slowly make your way through this like tight corridor. You see two doors to the uh, west and east. I'm gonna go step this way and try to open this portal here. Door kind of crunches open as you push against the earth, and as it opens, you see a um, a stone slab, much like a crypt, yeah, yeah. etched with the name Thornbolt Durst. Can someone check the other room? I'll go to the other side and look inside. Is it open? Uh, yeah. I'll open it. Oh, I'll you open it. Look. You yeah. see a another stone slab. Um, and it's etched with the name Rosavalda Durst. Oh. Can I, uh, can I try to open it? Uh, yeah, you go over and you, uh, and you open it, and, uh, there's nothing inside. What's over there? An empty coffin. Who? I assume Rose. And I believe this is for Thorn. Or maybe you just should... weeps outside. <laughs> maybe you should go up and put their. I guess this is like where they are supposed to, supposed to be buried. I. What do you think? All right, you you watch Thorn, and I'll go and get them. Thorn, yes. Thorn, yes. Thorn, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I I mean I should be the one to go up and get them, don't you think? Why? You you know if it's more than I do. Plus, okay, I'll wait right here with with Thorn and. All right. I'm wait, go. where's Ariel going? Ariel, you you head down the corner. You make your way up the steps. He'll be right back. You head back into the attic. You make your way out through the corner. You go over back to the room. You see the two skeletal remains of the children. I'll try and collect them. You pick and, them up. And can I keep them separated as much as I can? Sure, it's hard because they're skeletons. Okay. Well, you said that they, they were wearing um, clothing, so can I, like, almost... Not perfect skeleton, like, keeping them together, but kind of keeping them... Almost using their clothing as almost bags? Sure, yeah. You kind of hold them together with their with their clothing. Mm -hmm. And you take them out of the attic and very carefully make your way back down the <laughs> yeah. stairway. And uh, Ariel is gone for, like, 15 minutes until she slowly comes back down, makes her way over back into the into the area all right um let's, let's see if Orpheus, can Orpheus, Orpheus starts crying as soon as he sees the skeletons again <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm gonna put thorn into this one Thorns you put remains. thorn into the coffin and as soon <laughs> as you do um you watch as the lid <laughs> shuts and orpheus the ghost is gone What happened? Um, Am I crying? Gross. <laughs> yeah, you were um, you were crying a lot, and you were scared, 
And um, uh, I think you were excuse like... Excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. And as soon as you put Rose's corpse into the thing, the coffin, it shuts, and you feel the ghost of her leave you as well, Arya. Yeah. All, everybody gains an inspiration. Oh. Um, oh. An inspiration is a raw inspiration, which is just advantage on a roll. Tight. Okay. I step out. Oh. Okay, now. God, I feel better than I have in a long time. <laughs> Supposedly you're letting all, letting all that out. Whew, well, you also I was had a thinking about the worst body. things. Yeah. <laughs> I've been crying you also had a so man. I was thinking about. I was man. It's it's crazy the things that you find when you're trapped in your own mind. Oh my god! I need to write that down. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> Pull out like and like like a napkin <laughs> well at least we got their souls and I write it down with that cool pen that I found in mm-hmm. Goose Bomb's office amazing at least our souls are no longer connected to this place it seems like well yeah good that's that's great um, so do you I guys mean, I probably would have figured that out eventually but you know I was yeah. a little busy being possessed I, 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 well I'm, I'm just lucky that Rose was the one to have went possessed me rather than Thorne it seems like Thorne was a little on the young side at least oh yeah Rose was a and little was, more pushy god I was scared of my own shadow and given my scary and awesome powers that is a bad thing to be <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know about awesome but I certainly hey <laughs> so do you think that the I've monster is much. real like or are they just Maybe. Like, there, are, there are plenty of monsters here in Barovia, so I would not be surprised. I still hear that chanting from. echoing off the walls. There is still that, of course. God, that is unnerving. Can I roll perception to try to figure out where it's coming from? Yes, you can. Um, 16? It looks like it's coming from this direction. Okay, so maybe further down? Can I... We, well, we, there's plenty of intersections down here. Is it more this way or more as you down make this your way? way um, it'd be it's it's more this way. Uh, so, Ebony, as you make your um, way into this room, um, this room contains a plain wooden table flanked by long benches. Moldy humanoid bones lie strewn on the dirt floor. In the middle of the south wall is a darkened alcove, which is right here. It's a dark alcove. All right. Well, this place goes very deep. See, dark from alcove. Where I can see, As you walk I can over see, towards like, this dark. area, Orpheus, uh, slithering out of the alcove is this creature that comes forward. It looks to have oh, a beak, and I it kind of and it comes out and uh, attacks you. Shit! I knew uh, this was gonna happen. I forgot that this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like. Um, well, it looks like that. Yeah, let me get you a picture here. Uh, it looks like. Oh, I know what it looks like. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. We don't need a picture. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's just die. All right. God, I uh, hate these things. Everybody, roll the initiative. <laughs> Jacob's uh-huh. like somebody. Somebody will come over here. <laughs> and Orpheus was like, and Orpheus was like, la di da, minus one wisdom. Oh man, is pretty I dark. Embrace, I embrace the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, I love where I'm standing. I'm like seeing so deep into the place from multiple angles, just because of. Oh, I know, right? Uh, She's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, this here. place goes on. It it's, it's more like your character can see that there's like a way that goes really far in. It's like, yeah, it's is like what you're seeing. Oh, mm-hmm. that's. A lot. That way. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry. That's, that's going to really... I'm going to have fun with that during editing. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, in case I fixed it in the editing, uh, Spencer turned off her camera and turned it back on, so I, I had to switch it we'll, around. We'll fix so, it in post. Uh, fix it in post. If we remember it in post. I will. Um, all right. Uh, will. What did, Orpheus, what'd you get? Nine. Nine. Ebony? Ten. And Ariel. Twelve. Oh, he's first. Rip. 
Uh, I don't see us in the look, turn guys, order. Look, guys, I'm a floating head. You're in the turn order. Oh, that's weird. I don't see the turn order other than it. What? Me too. What you? Yeah, I only see him. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm well, dumb. We know it's because but... you're on another map. Wow. Can you guys put in your own initiatives? Um, uh, yes, yeah, I can. Oh, cool. Put in your initiatives. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. <coughs> no one let me put in my own initiative. Me, me. No, not 19. 10. Oh, here you go. All right. Uh, so top of the round is the creature. Um, and cool. the creature is going to uh, attack you, Orpheus. Yep. Uh, it takes its <laughs> tentacles out, and it just like <laughs> like tries to whip you with them. Gets an 11. Oh, that misses. Misses, <laughs> cool, because that would have been 11 slashing damage. <laughs> the, the tentacles just barely miss you, and then the beak comes down and <laughs> tries to snap at you. Oh, come on. Oh, sorry, that attack didn't hit, so it can't hit you with its, with its beak. <gasps> so it misses once, and it's done. Um, all right, uh, Ariel? Um, she points towards the creature with her finger, and a crackling, like, kind of almost, uh, golden light comes out of it, and, cool. um, shoots off towards the creature as best as she can, because this is Eldritch Blast. Roll, to, roll attack. Uh, rip. Uh, 12. 12? A 12, mm -hmm. it kind of crackles forward this this uh, energy and it kind of explodes off the wall and misses it. Damn. Yeah. Ebony? Uh, I'm going to do uh, Toll the Dead. Can you make Toll the Dead. Con save? Wisdom save? Or wisdom, wisdom save. Wisdom save. It's 12. Well, that's a fail. All right. Um, yeah. It's a D8 damage. Uh, four necrotic damage. Four necrotic. Yeah, you just see the thing kind of screech out in pain as it uh, as you toll the dead, and it's kind of. Oh. Uh, Orpheus. Four narcotics damage. Um, narcotics I'm gonna. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do the old tried and true shocking grab. Go for it. Maybe it'll actually work this time. Nope. Twelve. No. <laughs> it's like. I thought I knew how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I but guess this is for a rare. All right, the uh, the the Grick will uh, attack you once again with its tentacles. Uh oh. The twelve. This. Oh, 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 you're getting this close, man. Uh, Ariel. <laughs> uh, she's gonna try again with that Eldritch Blast. All right, do it. Uh, twenty-five. There you go. Roll damage. Almost minimum at seven. Almost minimum. Yeah. Oh. I rolled a two. What? You have a plus five? That's nuts. Because uh, the creature have... looks very damaged. Yeah. Nice. Um, as Maybe. as you go over and just hit it, and mm -hmm. it and it just kind of burns in radiance. Yep. Um, I have a charisma of twenty, somehow. Wow. Uh, and um, I took the invocation that you add your crystal. Oh, the agonizing blast. blast. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Ebony, it's your turn. I'm going to try to toll the dead it again. All right. Do, um, do it's it. hurt now, too. So. That is a dirty oh. 20. Well, mm, that's not. Oh, that's not. Good. Yeah. Orpheus. Zap, zap. <laughs> <laughs> 18. 18 hits. It finally charges up. You finally. rub your feet on the ground, get enough static electricity. <laughs> <laughs> and you finally you strike it. Uh, Three points of lightning damage. Three points. Nice. It's, and it, I am going to run away because it can't take reactions. Awesome. Great. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, 10, it's like, 15, it like frozen 20, for a minute. 25, and I will hide behind <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, wa I watch you, I'm like, what? The Grick slithers on the ground and then slithers up the side of the wall and then makes your makes its way no, over thanks. towards Ebony no, thanks. and no, thanks. tentacles you nope. for a natural like one. Ha ha. Ariel, it's your turn. Um, seeing that's well within uh, hit range with trying to do a range spell attack, I am going to cast Told the Dead on it. All right. Bing bong. Eleven. Uh, 
that ping fails. Bong. Ping bong, ping bong. <laughs> that fails, so... Two points in necrotic damage. All right. It just kind of screeches some love. more. Um, let's see. I'm going... I am going to pull off, and I will... It's kind of an attack of opportunity. Two. Yep. 16. That hits. Six slashing damage. Uh oh Owie. Okay. Hits. Ow. The tentacles just kind of <laughs> whip over and slice you a bit. Yep. Ah, sharp tentacle. Yep. Ebony. Uh, a booby will do toll the dead. A booby. <laughs> a booby. Toll the dead again. All right. Um, Gets a 21. Um, that'll do. <laughs> All right. Orpheus. I'll do. Griff, that'll do. <laughs> Firebolt. Firebolt. 15. 15 hits. Roll damage. Nice. Eight points of fire damage Ooh, the, with the you purple flame. You nearly burn it to a crisp as the fire, the purple flame kind of <laughs> takes over the front of it and just begins to burn and wither away at some of it. It's like squ uh, it's like squiggling in the in the area. It's in it. Not, not my duet partner, you son of a bitch. Okay, uh, <laughs> then slithers under the table here and up around towards you, Orpheus, and it <laughs> gives you a tentacle attack. Oh, for God's sake. An 11? No. All right. R.A.L., it's your turn. You guys are getting um, damn lucky with this Grick. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hate these things. Uh, she's going to um, kind of go like this and then pull down. Okay. Uh, it needs to make a deck save for me, please. I'm casting oh. Sacred Flame on it. Ooh. Natural 20 for a 22. Oh my god. Yeah, that this is awesome. awesome. As you pull it down, it kind of sees it, and it, like, moves its little snake body kind of out of the way. Pfft, just strikes right next to it. Your sexy little snake body. <laughs> uh, Ebony? I'm going to uh, cast Magic Missile just to try to end its life. All right. Um, um, nine damage. A bunch of magic missiles hit it and follow its body as it tries to slither away, and uh, you just hear an immediate crunching noise as the first missile hits, and the the um, the rest of the other missiles just shatter the rest of its body, and it is gone. It's out of combat. I have that situation totally under control. I'm gonna <laughs> use thanks. um. I kind of like Grim Harvest to get hit points back. Ooh, Grim Harvest from Necromancer. Yeah. Oh, an edgy, nice. an edgy whiz. I get uh two, two back. How long does right. False Life last as a spell? Is it an hour? Yeah. It's an hour. That's I nice. assume my False Life has gone, so I'm gonna get rid Your of it. Your False Life has gone, unfortunately. Oof. All right. You, um, you good, uh, Ariel? You took a pretty nasty hit back uh, there. It hurts a little bit, but I should be fine. You said uh, did you just cast uh, that? You cast that at the end of your short rest. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been gone. Sorry. It's okay. As it's like slash marks up on her. Mm hmm. I'll be fine. Well, all right. Uh, well, a lot more of this uh, creepy chanting chamber to go through. And Jacob, it's, well, it's like this way, right? Yeah, it's like over that way. Well, there's more, you can, more you can hear it words. getting deeper now. It's like it's like way over here now. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's down this way. Then I will follow you. Alright. Toward right. the creepy chanting? Right here. Alright. Just chilling well, in the car. I'm assuming that the creepy chanting is where the monster is. Ebony, as you make your way right here, and uh -huh. Orpheus, are you staying there or are you continuing? No, I'm following. Alright, I'm going to put Orpheus here. I'm gonna say are you oh. here and uh -oh. um uh -oh. as you make your way down there ebony you look mm -hmm. down the hallways and you as you're walking you hit your foot hits the ground and then right in front of you right here a hand <laughs> sticks out of oh. the ground another one right next to you here <laughs> sticks out of another the ground one. another one <laughs> and another one another one and you just see <laughs> these creatures come out of the ground gray skin <laughs> long tongues dead looking faces <laughs> go ahead and roll <laughs> initiative not again! <laughs> oh my Welcome god, if I could roll the above like a 10, that would be so nice. Aw, oh, Jesus Christ. 
Man, Barovia does not fuck around. Death House does not fuck around, no. The dungeon of the fuck out. Mm -hmm. of, the, of the fuck house? The fuck, fuck house? house. Ooh. <laughs> 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 the fuck house. This would be a much different dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> no, I house. mean, there might be some, considering the cold the the nature dirt? of this down here. The freaky shit. Yeah. The dursts. Thank you, guys. Alright. Let me go ahead and put everybody in the yeah. initiative again here. Oh, should I put in my own result? Yeah, go ahead and put your initiatives in. Does anyone else have a weird, like, yellow box around their character, or is that just me? That's uh, that happens when your over. initiative is selected. Yeah. So if you go over another one of us, it'll show yeah. who's who. It's showing oh, who okay. it, it went away. Is. It went away now. Yeah, it's just because you had your, like, your thing over it. Oh, wait. I rolled a 12. I have a plus one, though. Oh, fuck. Look at what oh, I rolled. No. <laughs> oh, Ooh, these are some fast ghouls. This is hey, not gonna end well. I'm gonna die. <laughs> all right, they all Rip. pop their hands out of the ground. They pull themselves up, and they and they look over, and Ebony, you're, like, frozen in fear for a moment. They... And they begin and to they, run down the hallway. They have to take the whole turn to get out of the ground, right? Uh, no, they don't. Well, let's How many are there? Mm. One, two, three, four? No. Oh, no. No. And uh, this one, I can't get to you. <laughs> it's funny because Ariel doesn't even... Ariel and Orpheus don't even know what's going on. Uh, right? can, can, there's can you some see guys. Uh, Ebony's like, ha, huh, I'm in danger. You hear four <laughs> sounds of like... <sighs> yeah, well, we, we can tell something's going on but fuck, i can't fuck, see fuck, it fuck, fuck. this one right here is going to um hit you uh with a uh with it, with its claws okay with a, with a claw that'll with hit a 14. that hits all right are you um a oh, creature no. other than an elf or undead oh yeah i'm a human can you make a constitution saving throw oh no uh five Five fails. Oh. It hits you. You take four slashing damage. Okay. Are you still up? Yeah. Um, and you are paralyzed. As it hits you, you just feel yourself freeze up and poof, fall to the ground paralyzed. Um, oh, God. Love that for us. Uh, the next one, uh, which is right next to you, um, uh, <laughs> just hits you while you're paralyzed, which means it has advantage, right? Oh, fuck. Isn't it like... Also, if it no, that's incapacitated. Right? Uh, if it hits, it's a crit. But uh, a paralyzed creature is incapacitated. Oh, then oh, if it no. hits, it's a crit. <laughs> oh no! And that's hey. how we lost the wizard. Any yeah, attack there. that hits a creature is a critical hit if the attacker is in five feet of the creature. Um, that's paralyzed. So incapacitated means you can't take actions or reactions. So oh, um, if it hits you, it is, is a crit. crit. So yeah. Um, no, paralyzed is crit. Unconscious, too. Yep. Yeah. Does a six hit you? No. Luckily, <sighs> it strikes at the ground. Oh, my oh, God. It got a natural one and then a six, so it just <laughs> strikes at the Jeez. ground and just misses you. <sighs> the other one runs forward to here, and you guys, you're just blocking up the pathway. It's just clogged up by Ebony right now. Um, <laughs> Ebony, it's your turn. Uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. So I'm looking oh, at the okay. Okay. It's a con save? Yes. Uh, that's a nine. You are still paralyzed. Oh, Orpheus. Shit. Orpheus. Uh, Orpheus. Is it my turn? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Can, I, can I move past my pal <laughs> here? Crazy. You just, yeah, you, you can, just hear. You can always pass. Oh my god. Orpheus. Orpheus comes around the corner. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I guess um, you could just stand in my space, right? Like over me, because I'm. You cannot prone. end your turn in another creature's space. Why would I? Huh. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. To defend me, maybe. Body block. I like you, but I don't like you that much. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's gonna let you in my band, bro. <laughs> Might be a solo act after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no shade. No Tino shade. I'm gonna help you out. I'm okay. gonna cast a spell, <gasps> and hopefully it works. Oh my um, god, are you guys playing Orpheus. a wizard, warlock, and sorcerer? Yeah. It's the caster combo. Yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> It'd be easy if it was paladin, fighter, uh, 
cleric. Cleric. It would have been easy yeah. as fuck. <laughs> be like, bah! all right, they're dead. Next room. <laughs> um, Orpheus will reach up into the into the corner and grab some <coughs> darkness okay. and like kind of take it in his hand and kind of whirl it around in like this undulating like blob of energy that kind of like changes color as he does and he's going to let out this crackling bolt of chaos awesome at, um, chaos bolt at the, at the one that is right um right here awesome do it come on oh, oh. no that's a seven a seven <laughs> no. oh no that sucks um, yeah, Seven um, just flings itself forward, and the, the swirling um, spell of, of radiating different colors as it goes through all the different elements just fizzles out on the wall. Damn, just, dude. Man, I man, I decimate that wall, though. <laughs> that wall? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that wall's fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Ariel. Uh, well, oh, sorry. go get him, Ariel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Move back. <laughs> all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, You're playing a shadow sorcerer, right? I, I am. Okay, I was running through my head. I was like, I don't think you can take Chaos Bolt, but your source book is Xanathar's Guide, so you totally can. So you're yeah. good. Good job, Jack! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, if I were to move here, would this guy get an attack of opportunity? Both of those guys would. This Both guy and this guy. Well, I, I said if I were to move here. Uh, you would be moving through this space, so yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Sorry. No, this guy could, would. Could... This guy would not. So one. You would get one. Yeah. And also because someone is within five feet of me, I have disadvantage on uh, saves, correct? On Wait. saves? Wait. Since Orpheus was here, shouldn't that guy have gotten an attacker opportunity? But mm. no, the... Technically, I unless he decided not to. I wasn't close enough to. Right, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna forego this corner rule then because I think that's dumb. So. Uh, <laughs> Did like, he reach around the corner to get? So me? the the enemy corners are not like provoked um, areas, which means that even if you still move through this space, this guy will still get attack opportunity, but you won't have disadvantage from that guy, or you won't have disadvantage from this guy either, and he can't opportunity to attack you. Just from so, where you're stepping. So if I stay right here. Um... I you don't have disadvantage. Hit. Don't have disadvantage? Okay. Then I am going to use... Purely um, because there are uh, the wooden pillars in the middle of the thing, and they're very clearly yeah. taking up room in those corners. Yeah, I can see, because like this is going to be very hard. That to guy get, isn't, uh, isn't, isn't focused on you at the moment, so yeah. it doesn't matter. He can't. There's um, too much shit in the way. I'm going to Eldritch Blast this guy. All right. Blast. So I start blasting. <laughs> That's a twenty-one. Twenty-one will will hit. Eight damage. Eight damage. Nice. It's Not what much. is it? It's it's force damage. For eight force damage. Nice. Yeah, you go over and you just it strikes it right in the chest, and you just um, it's force is just basically magic damage. It yeah. Hits it and it just looks angry. And I'm going to stay there for now. Okay. Uh, that ghoul can't get forward. It can't... Mo uh, can move through your spaces. It's just... It's difficult terrain, right? Difficult terrain, yes. Well, it can go 5, 10, 5, 15. It can go here. It can get through um, Ebony there. And then attack Ebony with a, with a bite. Oh, no. uh, this is horrible. Oh, a crit. Oh, no. It's already a crit, though, because he hit you. So yeah. uh, that is... Uh, oh, no. Uh, that's... Oh, God. That's 14 piercing damage. Uh. Okay, well, I'm unconscious. Does, is that an insta-kill? So it's... How how do you count? How However much you had left, add to your max. No, that's not. All right, so you're just unconscious. My just... max is fourteen. Max is fourteen. Yeah. You, uh, you, uh, so you, I don't know if any of you have played Last of Us Two yet. But sometimes when you die to the zombies, 
or even in the first Last of Us, when they get over towards you and they grab onto your neck and they just bite and then they just pull out like your uh, muscles. That's what you yeah. see it do to Ebony. And it just you just see blood spurt out of her neck and she falls onto the ground. Yeah. Weirdly, That's it's in horrible. character for her. You're like, oh, that she wanted to do that. No, no, it's not a part of her mm. style. We have to pick her back up. Um, <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, this next one right here is going to go um, 5, 10, 15... 20. It's going to get in between you two. Fuck. It's going to move through your space there. <laughs> How so, did he get there? <laughs> uh, he, he, he went uh, here. He went he, he went here. And then and then he went here. And then he went here. Well, I am in the void. He can do that? <laughs> well, he went. So Ebony's unconscious. So that's normal movement. So that's five feet. And then it's 10 feet to get through um, or, uh, Oriel. And then Ariel. another five feet to step to the next. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just move through. Enemy yeah, spaces, I think it's, it, just, it, it, it's difficult terrain. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if it poses an opportunity attack. To move through I, someone? Yeah. I doubt it. Um, I can look it up. Well, that'd be great if you could look that up for me. Um, and it is going to make. I just know he can get there. He's going to make a claw attack against uh, Oriel. Okay. Probably oh my hits. God, it's a dirty twenty. Yeah, that hits. Uh, make a con save. Uh, oh, you are an elf, yes? I'm a half-elf. I will count it. You are an okay. elf. You cannot be paralyzed by this ghoul. Um, okay. you, instead, you just take five slashing damage. Cool. This is how we TPK. Apparently. <laughs> uh, this one right here uh, will... Hmm, I can't really step in Ebony's space, technically. Uh, so it, so will, it, it will just kind of... Five, ten, fifteen... 20. Just trying to get as close as it can. It can't get to Orpheus either, so it just stays there. Uh, and this next one gets, okay, 5, 10, 20, are there? Are there 25. Four there this one them. can't get through either, there so this one just stands them. right there. Fuck. Ebony, it's your turn. Make a death save. Um, a thread that I saw on D&D Beyond says that moving through an enemy does provoke opportunity attack, so... Oh. Uh, death save is an eight. Oh, no. <laughs> you can move through a non-hostile creature space. In contrast, you can move through a hostile creature space only if the creature is at least two size, two sizes larger or smaller than you. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. I think that's for ending your turn in someone's space, isn't it? This isn't a real site either, I don't think. I'm pretty sure the size category category is moving and right, then let me, ending let me your go turn. To, uh, let me go to the... Let's go. Player's Handbook. Let's go. Combat. Let's go. Movement. Uh, difficult terrain, being prone, uh, moving, you can take an action to move, it's different speeds. You can move through a non-hostile creature space, and, oh, this is actually the book. Uh, in contrast, you can move through a hostile creature space only if the creature is at least two sizes larger or smaller than you. Remember that another creature space is difficult terrain for you. There we go. Whether a creature is friendly or an, an enemy, you can't willingly end your move in its space. If you leave a hostile creature's reach during your move, you'll provoke an opportunity attack. Now let's go to opportunity attacks. Because um, it says when you leave its reach. So I don't think it's the same thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can make opportunity attack when a hostile creature moves out of your reach to make the opportunity attack. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, no. It's just difficult terrain. That's all it is. Okay. Which is really weird, but whatever. Just kind of shoves <laughs> past you, basically. Yeah. Um, Orpheus, it's your turn. Let me look at one thing really quick. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, fuck it. We'll risk it. I'll leave this guy's um, area reach, and I'll provoke an opportunity attack. <laughs> Yeah, he will, he will, uh, claw you. Yeah. 18. Yeah, that hits. All right. And you are half-elf, yes? 
Yes, I Ooh, am. You cannot be paralyzed by him. Uh, it is seven slashing damage. Ow, there go my temporary hit points. <laughs> ah. Um, ah, my false life. <laughs> my false yes. Laban. Um, I will... Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt a chaos bolt. Do it. I hope this hits. Yeah, 23. Fuck yeah! Roll damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite spells in the game. It's Spencer's a very cool too. spell. It's Chaos Bolt. Love it. Oh, Chaos Bolt's my favorite spell. Oh my god, and I did a lot of damage. Um, so it's 2d8 plus 1d6, right? Yep. Um, and that determines your, the type of yeah, damage. Let me add a d yeah, and let me add a d6 too. Um, so I rolled... Oh, fuck. Hold on, sorry. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, oh, my God, I'm a mess. Hold on, let me just it's look okay, it up in okay. Xanathar's no Guide. My, my, my D8s were a 6 and an 8, so I'm going to look up what... Um, ah, the damage type. So I can choose between poison or thunder. I'm going to go with thunder. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be like, don't choose poison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose poison damage. A good the, a dead. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder damage. I finally right. hit on an attack, only for it to do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> um, it and then I rolled an additional, an additional four damage. So that's eighteen points of damage total. Just eighteen against points that of guy. thunder damage. Oof. Yeah. Fuck yes, dude. You, and I, it's the guy right in front of you, right? Yeah, and I, I just grab like another like bit of darkness around me, and it crackles like a like a thunderstorm cloud, and it yes. just like, <clears throat> like a shockwave. Mm, big thundering sound hits it, and it just kind of bursts itself backwards, and it just <laughs> and it looks very, very hurt. Bones are broken. Body ne it looks near death. Um, if it didn't um, already look... I'm gonna retreat there. a little further back into here. Sounds good. <laughs> um, Ariel, your turn. Um, so I just want to say, out of game for a second i just got an email saying that my uh x3 level three fireball shirt uh sweater it just got shipped oh nice so. yeah <laughs> they uh the campaigns take a little while to send so yep. well, of course but that's cool i literally just got like two minutes ago so uh it should be coming on well there you go free okay. ad get yourself some exactly level that's three why merch. i thought yeah go to Bonfire yeah, slash XP level three store. I don't know the code. There's you can search it. It's a use, thing. Just use Google. Yeah. <laughs> get our, get your merch. Get get your XP merch. Okay. Um. Here's the issue. <laughs> if I bring Ebony back up right now, she'll just die again immediately. Hey, yeah. have faith. Or kill them. Either's fine. I don't like those odds. Exactly, that's the <laughs> issue. Those odds are like, hmm. Um. Honestly, it might be better to try and drag him into the bigger area. So yeah, I'm gonna push my way past this guy. So, 10, 15, right? Yep. 20, 25. That's, uh, he already used his reaction. He, that's why I thought. So I'm pulling him back a little bit. Um, casting Eldritch Blast on him. All right, roll your Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. That's a 22. 22 is going to hit. Oh, good damage. 14 damage. Well, you overkilled him by 10 points, as yeah. Orpheus had already done a ton of thunder damage oh. this one. You fire your Eldritch oh. Blast and pop his head open like a, like a grape, and he is yeah. dead. Now let's hope that they follow us and we can. <laughs> hey, get to we're alive time. and juicy. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Um... Please don't kill our friend. <laughs> Please. <coughs> what did you do? 10, did you blast him? 15, I told you blast him. Nice. 20, 25, yeah. 30. Cool. Claw. Fuck. 18. Cool. Hit. Eight slashing. Fuck. I'm down. Fuck. Oh my god. Like, Let's hope they come for us. One comes around the corner, fucking bitch slaps her, and she just <laughs> hits the ground and dead unconscious. And it <laughs> looks at you. This is the worst thing that has ever happened. 
15, 20, 25, 30. That one can't get to you, so it dashes to get there. Fuck! Oh, 10, 15, Rude. 20, 25, 30. This one got in his, in his buddy's way, so he has to fucking go this way. Now he's over here. Um, all right. Bad, Ebony, roll guys. another death save. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. 20. 20. Natural 20. Come on! 3. Oh, no. Two fails. <laughs> oh, Ebony is bleeding out. Orpheus. TPK. TPK. Uh, <laughs> is this where we're going to end? Time, because <laughs> this is not good. Um, yeah, so Orpheus is just going to cast Shocking Grasp, because I'm all out of spell slots. All right. Um, which is never a never a good sign. Um <laughs> Never a good sign. True. Oh, so now I'm rolling well on these spells. 24. Nah, yeah, there you go. Roll damage. Eight lightning damage. Nice. <laughs> lightning bolt. Finally, I'm doing my job. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> and he can't take reactions. Sure um, can't. That one looks so, really bad, too. That one already well, not much damaged. I, not much I can do about it. Just run 30 feet um, away. <laughs> that's Yeah, honestly, that's the best I can do at the moment. Just, just kite them. Just kite them around <laughs> the dungeon. <laughs> yes. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, this is like a video game right now. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, can you give me so control right of Orpheus just so I can watch the kiting? The, uh, oh, the, yeah. Just don't control the, or anything. No, uh, of course not. See, mm, fuck, this doesn't look good, but, um, Okay. Or you could put yourself into a corner and just ha be able to only get hit by one of them at a time. Running. Just keep running. Run. Either one. See, my question is though, do I like do I like run away or do I stay and fight? <laughs> because the exit is right <laughs> there and both of you have basically been murked. <laughs> <laughs> I just love like, okay, all right, wait. There's only a few left, and they have to come to us. One runs around the corner, just bump, she's gone, she's just down. And it's like, ah! <laughs> they just fucking run. You know what? If, 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 if Orpheus is going to go, he's going to go down swinging. And um, I'm, gonna, right. I'm just going to move there. That's my 30 feet. Um, Unless something comes around this way. Yeah, if something through. comes around this way. That, this is actually a good spot because they can't hit you from other directions. It's only one at a time. You've just Which wait until you guys roll in a natural okay. 20, or until until I, know, I yeah. manage to deal max uh, damage to each one with each shot. I got 16. I, I got a success. 16, that's a success. All right. You turn, Orpheus, and as you run to the corner, you look down, and you just see ghouls <laughs> running down the hallway. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Fuck, it has to dash to get there. Oh. This one gets here. This one gets here. You lucky son of a oh bitch. Oh my god. I can kite them, you guys. I can kite Eb them. Uh, Ebony, roll a death saving throw. Oh god. This is... I've never been this excited in Dungeons and Dragons before. 18. That's not true. 18. Oh, okay. 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 Orpheus. <laughs> you oh know what god. to do. This shock him with your shock and grass shit. That's an eight. Eight okay. on shock and grass. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. misses. Fuck it. 5, 10, <laughs> I 15, would have suggested 20, stay, 25, but... 30. Oh, no, you're right. I should stay. I'll stay. Okay, I'll you stay. can stay. Because at least you're taking stay. one less hit. <laughs> okay. Um, Ariel, death save. Death save. 13. Okay. Not dead yet. Uh... <coughs> Only uh, this ghoul attacks you with a uh, with a. Uh, it's gonna go for a bite this time. It just kind of <sighs> reaches out to bite you. Five. Nope. Ebony, <laughs> your turn. Roll a death oh save. Oh god. Tyler with the master splat Five, over here. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> You're two and two. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. This is so intense. The... Orpheus. <laughs> 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 Jacob's like, no, you can't kite the ghouls. And Orpheus is like, ha ha, shocking grass. Let's go, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it'll do nothing if I keep rolling threes. Uh, no, I miss. It's hard to get this spell off for you. Ariel, that's safe. Like... <laughs> <laughs> 
I am stable. All right, you're stable. All the seventeen. All right, stabilized. Uh, Gould's gonna bite you. Shit. Four. Go. How is this happening? <laughs> Ebony, your turn. No, Just so is... everybody knows, I am I am rolling in roll twenty, so I can't fudge. <laughs> so this yeah. is just pure circumstance. Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh my god! Oh my god. You're both stable. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Orpheus or just has to live. Like, <laughs> Orpheus, it's your turn. Stay alive. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! 17? That hits? Hold on. Hold oh on. Oh my god. Where's he going? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This reminds me of um, in Dragon Heist when you guys were fighting the bearded devils. Oh yeah, that sucks. <laughs> this is. Six why is this so damage. epic? Seven? Alright, seven points of lightning six, damage. Six. 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 Points six of sorry, damage. six. Uh, as you, uh, <laughs> you, you make your way over, you finally hit him. And he's like, it's like all tased up. <laughs> Stay there, keep moving, keep running. Yeah, I'm staying here. All right. Uh, Ariel, spot. you are unconscious. You cannot come back unless you gain health. Um, yep. Ghoul is gonna, um, it's gonna try to, uh, it, noticing it's hard to bite you, it's gonna try to claw you. No. Ah, it gets try 16. to claw me. You're so sexy. Um, 16 <laughs> is my armor class. All right. Uh, pff, hits you for four slashing. Okay. I am bloodied, officially. Okay. Um, Ebony. The other ghouls, actually, Stable. the other ghouls at this point are getting a little frustrated. They can't get past his buddy. So they're looking around for, like, another way to go, and they don't really see oh, no. one. So the other oh, one no. is going to, like, try to find a way around. So this one's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oh, 30, I swear to God. 35, 40, 45, <laughs> 50, 55, 60. And then this one's going to follow him. Uh, Orpheus, your turn. Shocking grass. Go for it. Uh, um, sparky hand go burr. Sparky. Mm, I don't think that hits, but... No, I'm not going to use that yet. Um, okay. 12. 12 hits. Oh! My god, roll damage. Six points of lightning damage. Nice, he's 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 on his last legs, he's looking bad. He's shocked Why him again. Why can't you just wear metal armor, you son of a bitch? He looks at you and goes... <laughs> <laughs> um, the ghoul is going to hit you with his claws again. Oh, it gets a 21. Oh, that hit. Oh, it hurts. Seven slashing damage. Oh! I am unconscious. No! Oh. All right. Everybody blacks out, run, boys. and everybody goes unconscious. I want you, Orpheus, to make death saving throws. Oh, no! Oh, wait! No! I'm not unconscious. I have a thing. Oh, you're, you're a shadow, shadow sorcerer! sorcerer. <laughs> okay. Um, you have I to have roll. To it's like undying. A charisma whatever. Charisma saving throw. I have to roll a charisma saving throw, of, um, hold on, strength of the grave. Once per long rest, um, uh, if damage reduces me to zero HP, I can make a charisma saving throw. DC five plus the damage taken, so twelve. I have to roll twelve or higher. If I succeed. I am reduced to one hit point instead. Oh my god. <laughs> Roll. That is a 21. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! You, you are struck and you feel yourself weak and fall to the ground and then you just feel the darkness around you begin to seep into you. You hold on for that moment and you just feel, you stare death right in the face. And you just say, Literally. not today. And not you step today. back. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you step up. You're not down yet. You're still up. Uh, Shadow sorcerers are so cool. <laughs> oh, no. You see one ghoul turn a corner. Start I running have towards a bad you. feeling about this. You see another ghoul turn the corner, sees you. You're getting surrounded. It's your turn, Orpheus. Shocking grass. Go for shocking grass. Twenty-one. It hits. Oh. 
Come on. <laughs> Six points of lightning. Damn Six it. points of lightning. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Oh my god! He's so close! You just you just shock him and he's like oh he can barely move and he's just like still standing up. I just, can I give us a can I give a suggestion? Yeah. Of what you should do. Orpheus, if you don't mind Me? if you don't mind um Sir. War gaming a bit. Go to the other side of the ghoul. I'll move through. Friends won't be able to go through. He'll be like, oh, they're going to keep Excuse running me. around. Excuse me. Can I, can I move past the ghoul? Yeah, can you I can. He's, I mean, yeah, it's just difficult terrain. Yeah. All right, you push past the ghoul. You oh, and push you can't yourself. take reactions. And you can't mm -hmm. take reactions. There you go. Oh, my God. And now you cut them off again. Uh, this ghoul is going to try to bite you. Oh, 16. Oh, no. That, that's, no that's my it. armor class. He bites you. He bites right at your neck, and he pulls yeah. back, and you just feel the blood <laughs> spurt outwards yeah. and fall onto the ground. <coughs> Damn! Fuck, that was so <laughs> that was close. Good. All right, that was so a good run, guys. Everybody, uh, everybody's on, is. I need you to go ahead and roll some uh, death saves for me, Orpheus. Okay. Go ahead, and um, uh, we're gonna roll them all out right now. Yeah, sure. Um, first roll. Is it eight, is it plus my con or is it just straight no, roll? No, it's just straight roll. So that's sure. one fail. Okay. Oh, no, not a d4. No, stop it! I don't want to roll d4s. Fuck. Sorry. Um, second is uh, a success. Okay. One fail, one success. No, stop! Oh my god, D and D Beyond. Fuck it, I'm doing this in my in my dice app because that's a lot easier to manage. Um, another success. Okay. Um, am I allowed to use inspiration on death saves? Uh, yeah, you can. Because I rolled a two just now. You can that's use your inspiration. Fun. Well, I rolled a four instead, so All that's right. two fails, so two successes. Two fails, two success. So one more roll. Oh god. <laughs> success. Oh, oh my god! Okay. All three of us. Okay, so that matters. I was about to be like, raise a glass to free. <laughs> they can never take away. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody, he's unconscious. So you're watching some music. I am. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> All right. Everybody go ahead and uh, you guys are all at the moment unconscious. <coughs> Everybody roll their hit dice. Whoa, hang on. Er who has sh who has already short rested? Oh, you guys leveled up though. Everybody has yeah. at least one hit dice, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I have two because I because technically act as if you're short not. resting. Roll your hit dice and expend anything during a short rest that you can expend. Uh, so does that mean we can only spend one hit die? Uh, yeah, because you guys have already uh, have already used it, so you can only use one. Okay. You're tired. <laughs> yeah. Ebony, how much health do you have? Seven. All right, Orpheus? Four, six. All right, Ariel? Sixteen. All right, Ebony, you wake up first. You kind of slowly come to your head. Still fucking hurts from earlier you got punched. And now you just see, like, uh, you, you feel yourself very, very weak. Blood kind of running down the side of your, your neck as you slowly kind of come to... Um, you don't know how long it's been. You, you still feel a bit of blood kind of... It, it's dried up around your neck a bit. It's not, like, as exaggerated as I had made it be. There's, It's just, like, a wound down at your side. It, it, it hurts. You're bleeding. And you look around, and uh, you don't see anybody. 
I'm gonna try to stealthily go back the way we came. Uh, yes, you can. Roll a stealth check. Um, it's a fifteen. A fifteen. Okay, you stealthily begin to crawl your way along, make your way over. As you do, Ariel, you slowly also begin to come to your head. Fucking hurts you. You feel like you like like you feel like Ebony early, like you got a concussion, and you mm -hmm. look around and you just see her kind of slowly, kind of pushing her way along, trying to be quiet, kind of holding her wound together as she makes her way into the next room. You, uh, are we are we dead? No. Good. Okay. Do you know where Orpheus went? He was over here, but I don't. I don't. I I got hit hard. I I don't know where he went exactly. Orpheus, you wake up at this moment, and uh, you you look up, and you're lying head down on the ground. You don't see anything. You're also kind of bleeding a bit still. The wound oh, has. Oh, I forgot passed. to mention actually. Be one of my quirks as a shadow sorcerer is that I rarely bleed profusely, oh, even when heavily okay. injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it makes sense why you are why you're okay. And um, you kind of slowly kind of sit up. You see where you are, and you just. Should go upstairs and sleep. Something around now, maybe. Guys. Uh, where are you? I get up. Mhm. Mm you get up. And I just look down the hallway. You see Ebony. We. Oh. Ebony. <laughs> I cry. A Bobby. <laughs> Oh my God! I I saw you fall, and 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 Ariel, you too, you. But and I, what the fuck is going on? We're just too cool to die. So let's, see. <laughs> let's get up. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, yeah. let's get back upstairs. It's safer there. Yes. Weird saying that. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. We should probably be quiet. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Be quiet about this. Sorry. Uh, should, stealth? Yeah. Should I re-roll my stealth? Go ahead and roll stealths. Ooh, I rolled a natural 20. Ooh. 19. 19. I have no pluses, nice. so it's just a, a 20. 15. A 15. Ooh. Very nice. All right, so you guys make your way over and you're going to slowly make your way across, quiet as you can. You hear nothing, but you still hear echoing in the chamber, the chants down in the distance. Gross. Make your um, way over, and you, you find the stairway. Can I tell which one of the two looks like the most... Well, I, I would assume Ebony is kind of the worst off, because uh, uh, Orpheus, you said you don't look like you're bleeding for Fruci. Yeah, I just so, have like a big, big chunk um, bitten up my neck. <laughs> as we're walking back, she puts her hand on Ebony's shoulder, and it lights up as it casts Cure Wounds on you. Nice. You get eight hit points back. Uh, Orpheus will head up the stairs. Okay. You guys make your way up the stairs, back up into that attic room with all of the covered furniture. It's a long climb up, but eventually yeah. you get all the way back to the top. Find somewhere to sleep. Uh, yeah, and Orpheus will do, like make sure the two come through and then just slam here? the door. And is there anything to like prop up against the door to make sure that nothing comes through? Well, it's not. Yeah, really, you like, could take like one of the mirrors door. or like the mannequins and prop it up. Okay. What if we just lock it all in, just completely barricade that door and just leave? <laughs> I mean, we don't have to help your the kids that you found. It's clearly. That's true. We just let them have their dungeon down there, but they can't get out this way. Yeah, I don't fancy dying again. I don't know what that was all about. Um, I don't think I'll no. get so lucky again. I don't know about that either. That we, it seems incredibly lucky that they didn't decide to just eat us afterwards. Who's to say they didn't? And it's very true. something else just spooked us back. I don't know. If, if they got spooked off by something... That's not good. <laughs> um, 
why don't we rest and then figure out what we'll do? Unless you guys are too scared to stay here. I'm not I'm scared. Not, I'm not scared. <laughs> but rather being practical here. Uh, but so long as we block right. up. So long as we block up that area, sure, we can stay here for a little bit. Make sure that there's nothing else in this house. Well, there's plenty of furniture in that room. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, there's a lot of, like, um, covered furniture in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's been prowling to jump on me for, like, the past... The entire game. Um, <laughs> past entire game. Yeah. Um, alright. What are you guys doing? Taking a long rest. Right. Uh, first, I think we're gonna be pushing stuff in front of that door. You go yeah. over to oh, all yeah. the doors and you push stuff in front of them. Not hard to do. Uh, let me here. I'll put you guys over on this map. There we go. Uh, and you guys push stuff up against the doors. There's only one. Um, there's two. Um, and uh, mainly, we're just trying to, I think, mainly close off this one to the stairs. Do you guys see him? He's currently face planting into my arms. Yeah. Aww. He's just pushing his forehead into He's a good boy. Yeah. A sweet boy. Um, and you guys, uh, long rest. Are you going to separate into watches or are you just all falling asleep? Uh, no, we Orpheus definitely will separate probably. Watches. Uh, we should. We definitely should. Um, Orpheus will go first. Okay. You lay um, down. Argo will go second. You guys head to sleep, and throughout your watches, nothing happens. And the night goes on and on and on. Your mage armor fades away. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, eventually you um, get tired, and then Ariel wakes up, and she comes over, and she uh, begins to um, watch as well. And... Waiting to hit that long rest button. Until and you guys can push the long rest button. Everybody succeeds their long rest. You wake up. It's oh, been some time now. It's check. been quite a while. You see a bit of light coming through the doorway now. Um, and it's just like right when you wake up and you feel like, oh, yeah, where am I again? Oh, yeah, I'm here. And you kind of wake up. You feel much more refreshed at this point. Your wounds still kind of ache, but you feel much better than you did before. Um, as it's been quite a while now that you've got some time to, uh, All right. to rest up. All right, yes, you need to get down. Now we have a decision to make. Are you going back down there? Mm -hmm. I'm down for anything. We can fight it. We can leave. I don't care. On the one hand, it's up to I you, really Orpheus, because I have don't my wanna, own. My, I have my own. I really thing. don't want to get like murdered by a bunch of ghouls and shit. Yeah. On the other hand, I'm really fucking curious what's down there. Uh, flip a coin? Sure. Let's flip a coin. I'll pull out a little gold piece. I do have a D2 on my dice roller. Nice. <laughs> um, heads, one, we stay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bing! It's tails. All right, so we'll leave. That size it then. <sighs> well, I guess I mean, so. I mean, they're blocked in unless they have another exit. Yeah, some mysteries are better left unsolved, maybe. And uh, I guess all that really matters is that those poor kids have been laid to rest. And yeah, I think we did and a I'm good sure thing. I'm sure some other that. assholes will come by sometime and deal with this. They'll be yeah. fine. We already. Let's, let's get out of here. Knowing Barovia and the place. way it works, probably. It'll be their problem to deal with. I'm going to go get my sister, though. Yeah. Oh, have fun what, with that. Where is she exactly? Upstairs. Uh, down in the... Downstairs. Down in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll show you. We'll show you. Yeah. Thank you. You guys make your way over to mm -hmm. the... Uh... Oh, God. Music just got really loud. Mm -hmm. Um... You guys make your way over, uh, heading out. Uh, where do you where do you go? You guys can move your minis. Uh, down to the uh, 
the we room that downstairs. has like the wraith lady in it. Not or not a wraith, but where the spectre. Spectre. I have no idea where to go in this map, so. Um, and then I'm assuming Orpheus shows control. me in ah. here, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. And you guys go down, and you see the corpse down there. And as soon as you you guys make your way down through the <coughs> stairs, and as soon as you enter this room, uh, mm -hmm. you notice. Um, the windows are no longer there. Oh. They're bricked up. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't... It's, it's, it's... Did you one of you break up all the windows while Behind I Behind you, asleep? Ebony, you hear <laughs> swing, 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 swing. And as you look towards the door, you see instead of a door, there are slashing scythe blades. That's the not... oven and stove on the other side of the room over here, in the fi sorry, the fireplace, begins to fill with black smoke. Oh. Um, All of no. the walls slowly begin to rot and become brittle. And um and uh and it's just like, like it looks like it's just like melting and and like the wallpaper is peeling off and the wood is beginning uh, to warp and the room uh, begins to fill with smoke. Everybody in the room needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Shit. Are you, okay. It looks like a natural one. It's not a natural one, but it's not great. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I roll so low on these things? I got a 13. Is the body still here, Jacob? The body is still there. A 15? 13. 13, you succeed. It, you are just coughing a storm, though. Nine. Uh, nine. Uh, you cough and cough and cough, Ariel, and you take two poison damage. Yeah. Six. Six. Nice. Same thing, I imagine. Uh, yeah, you take uh, three okay. poison damage, actually. Okay, well, at that... You guys are just three. coughing and coughing. Your lungs begin to hurt as the smoke begins to fill up the room. Yeah, okay, well, at that... Um, uh, the door Orpheus is would, Orpheus would probably cast False Life on himself. Okay. We're just gonna need to push our way through. And then convert his sorcery points into another first level spell slot. Sounds good. So. Uh, if you want to get through the door, you need to make a dex an acrobatics check. I'm also gonna cast False Life on myself because okay. I don't want to die to a door. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick up uh, Venariel's body. Okay, you pick it up. Um, what type of save? Dex? A, a acrobatics check. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, I can definitely... Uh, I'm going to use my the yeah, inspiration to try to do this. All right, you have advantage. Ooh, natural 20. Natural 20. You, like... <laughs> and the blades are scything through, and you just kind of duck and weave, and you make your way to the other side, unscathed. Sweet. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. You see Use the doors arm. over here <laughs> are spinning as well. You see that um, the walls in this room are beginning to like curve and like peel and and uh, and uh and break and become rotted and brittle how are the staircases looking the staircase is fine okay i'm gonna use my inspiration to try and make that uh, acrobatics check as well go for it what'd you get What'd you get? 19. You also time it well and <coughs> step your way through. Orpheus? 21. You also <laughs> step your way through through that area. And you can just hear the house is like beginning to like groan and like move and shake a bit. Well, the house is so, definitely trying to kill us now. Yeah, Let's go. Hear me out. Uh, so I think the way I see it, we have two options. We can try to get out of here and go through the death house or we could uh, go back to the basement. Why would we go back to the basement? This is Maybe good idea. it wants us to. I don't. Okay. I think it's leading us to death either way. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna try One to get down. Leads, hopefully, leads to freedom. Let's All right, you start to make your way down the stairs. Um, and you do so. You successfully make your way down and down and down, and boop, and you make your way to the bottom floor. Oops, sorry, Orpheus, you're in the dining room. 
Uh, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Ariel, you make oh, your way. I'm... You guys are all down the stairs, and you just see scything blade after scything blade. And as you make your way down this room, and you're going down the stairs, the smoke begins to billow up into your face. You can't see shit in this room. It is like you can barely see out to your own hand, and you begin to cough. Once again, everybody make a deck save, uh, constitution saving throw. Oh, and at this moment, we're going to go, go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 12 for my con save. 12 is a success. Ebony? Oof. One. Um, that is three poison damage. And Ariel? That is four poison damage. Um, and everybody roll initiative. Roll the seven. Seven. You can put it in the, on the uh, DD Beyond. Oh, wait, no, you can't. I don't Sorry. see my, boop, boop, boop. my thingy. Bad turn. Bad turn. Bad turn. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. All right. Since everybody has them in. All right, uh, Aurel, you're first. What are you doing? So at the start you of your me. round, at the start of your round, you will have to make that save again. But you guys just did it right now, so I'll count that as yeah. the start of your round. So um, it is it is heavily obscured in here. You have no yeah, fucking so, clue where you're going. Yeah. Should you like hide us or like hide what we can see? Sure. Or I'll do that. It's not very cash money of you, but. <laughs> My poor white clothes are turning black. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Five, 10, 15. I'm assuming these are scythe, scythe, scythe doors. Yep, and as you get, as you like move closer and as you're like bumping around, you're trying to find your way around, <coughs> just coughing. You see scything doors just right in front of you. I'm gonna try and get through these. All these right. Ones. Uh, make that a uh, acrobatics check. Oh, we're so close to natural 20, but it's a 14 instead. A 14? A 14? A 14 fails. Ooh. As you go through, you're like, okay, okay, you can do this. You try to jump through the uh, the scything um, uh, doorway, and as you uh, try to make your way forward into the momentary gap of the repeating movements, uh, it catches on one side of you and then you're like, oh shit, and you back up and then the next one tsh, hits you as well and the next one tsh, hits you on the leg and you just kind of, and you, um, uh, oh shit. My damage. Uh, and you kind of pull yourself back, um, uh, bleeding a bit and you take eight slashing damage. Ow. Ow. You okay. guys hear Ariel just get chopped. So, what did I do? I did 5, 10, 15, 20 to get into here. Uh, you are, I, if you're going to try to get through again, you need to make that act. Oh, I, I did not get into you it. You didn't get through. Okay, I'm going to cast um, Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. I, I really, Spotify really needed to be quieter. I don't know why it <laughs> suddenly got loud. Spotify, you need to uh, I heal up nine hit points. Uh, nine hit points? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to try and go through again. Okay. Uh, you can do it as much as you have movement. Okay. So does that count as having tried to move five feet already? Yeah, so that was five. And then you can okay. go... Um, so you went five, ten, fifteen, and then twenty. So you can go twenty-five and do it again. And then you can go thirty and yeah. do it one more time if you want. Okay. You're just shoving Action yourself fanatics. in. <laughs> Ow. Um, I fail, so I take another damage. No! Oh, it's 14 slashing damage. Ow, I, I'm unconscious. <laughs> you just hear, and you, which is Ariel falls back. Well, no, they don't even see it. Floor. You guys can't, yeah, you just see. hear thud. Um, all right, Orpheus. A couple of thuds. <laughs> ha ha ha, this is so fun. Five. That wasn't insta-kill, right? No. 10, 15, oh God. You see Arya <laughs> lying on the ground, her eyes kind of still open, just like bleeding out on the floor, the scything doors whipping blood around like a fan. 
Oh, that's gross. I'm gonna try and go through. <laughs> it's right. an acrobatics check. Acrobatics check. This is gonna be so rough because I have a plus zero to these. Twenty-one. Oh, Twenty-one. You jump through to Thank the other side. You entertainer background. Nice. And <laughs> Orpheus, now you can actually see um, as you enter to this next area. Um, let me go ahead and give you some light here. There you go. Okay. Um, and you see another scything door right here. And that's the way out. Yep. You know that's. But the there's way no out. smoke. There's no, there's smoke, no smoke in here, in here because there's no uh, there's no uh, fireplace or stove. I'll wait right here at the edge. Okay. For Ebony. <laughs> All right, uh, Ebony, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna move over here. Can I pick up? Um. Ariel. Ariel? Yes, but I'll give you disadvantage on that acrobatics check. Okay. I will pick her up. Okay. Hey, you just well, throw no. her through. Meat grinder. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> She's turned into paste. Um, There's also for Ariel, too. Um, oh, I, can't, no. I can't... I can't take didn't know you were carrying her. Oh, man. I was. I forgot. Sorry. Well, I still failed I know. really poorly, so... Uh... What... What do I roll? Acrobatics? Acrobatics. Disadvantage. If you're going to take Ariel with you. That's a 16. 16? Yes. With Ariel in tow? Yes. You jump Holy through shit. with Ariel and succeed on the and make it to the other side. Oh my god. Yikes. Jeez. Uh, I assume you don't have your torch out. Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't I light the, um, the sconces down here? I think you probably did. Oh, the sconce is down here. Oh no, the yeah. uh, the oil lanterns are out are outside. Oh, uh, okay. So I can't see anything. You can't really see much. It's just because it's dark, not because of the okay. smoke. All right. Um, Ariel, make a death save. That's a fail. Okay. Um, Orpheus, you've got a scything door right in front of you, and Ebony uh, and uh, Ariel. Oh. Uh, uh. Um, hey, be. question. Um, her is, are you carrying Ariel and what's her name? Oh. But you left her. She's already dead. <laughs> <I'm> dead. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, um, Orpheus, Orpheus, what are you doing? Like grits her grits his teeth and is like looking at, like. Uh, looking at Ariel and looking at the thighs, and I'm like, oh, give her to me. Why? <laughs> because I am quicker than you are. Oh, okay. We could, do you think we could break this? You guys kind of notice there's a pattern <coughs> to it. Huh. Oh. Can I investigate the pattern? <laughs> so, it will take you a Actually, minute. To try to to try to invest to try to figure out the pattern. Um, here's here, let me read it here. Um, uh, <laughs> there's any character a character who spends a minute studying the blades in a particular doorway can try to take advantage of a momentary gap in their repeating movements and make an intelligence check instead. I fancy my dexterity odds a little better. That's fine. Um, so you can make an intelligence save instead of a deck save? You can, but you have to take a minute to do it. Oh. Shoot. Yeah, you <laughs> take her and try to get through, I guess. God, speed. <laughs> it's the, it's I'm so honor. scared. <laughs> <laughs> I give her a hug. <laughs> There's a part of me that really wants to how everybody dies. The <laughs> ending door, and you're just like, here we go, and then ribbons, <laughs> and it's just gone. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna take Ariel over my shoulder, and I'm like, I don't even know why I'm doing this for you, and I'm gonna jump through the thing. All right, um, roll well, acrobatics with disadvantage. Boy support, okay. boys. Fifteen meets it, beats it. You son of a bitch! You jump through with Ariel and make it to the other side. Just barely, like a blade nearly hits her face. And nearly hits you, and you just zoom, jump out onto the other side, it's and like, you're at the gate. It's like Blades of Glory, like it cuts the hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. Perfect. Um, Ebony, your turn. Oh, are you going to make any more movement here, Orpheus? Um, I'm just going to, like, jump through, get out of the house, yep. and I'm going to put Oriel down. Make your way out. All right. 
I'm gonna try to jump through. Roll acrobatics. Oh god. Uh, eight. Eight. Oh no! You, you, you get nicked by it a little bit, and it hits you. Um, a little bit. Well, let's Ribbon. see if it's a little bit. Twelve slashing damage. Oh, well, I'm still okay. I'm still alive. All right, you're bleeding everywhere. It hurts. Okay, one more time. All right. Oh, 17. You jump through. Oh my god. Bleeding like a motherfucker. You make it out of the of of the of the house. Um, okay. Ariel, roll a death save. <laughs> Imagine we survived the death house only for Tyler to die again. <laughs> a success. A success. Okay. All right, um, Orpheus, Aria, Orf, Orpheus, and Ebony, what are you doing? You're at can a point. Try... Stabilize Aria. Yeah, like, can okay, we try to... Yeah, both of you roll medicine checks. Can I give? Can I give her help? Yes. <laughs> so you have advantage on medicine. your medicine check, Ebony. Uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You stabilize yeah. Ariel. Okay. And you all escape the death house. You. Uh... Wait, if we if we look back, like what's happening? The house like... looks like it's alive. <laughs> and all the windows are boarded up and it seems to like groan and, Monster and then as get you get back and as you move away further and further down the road from it it stops and it looks like a normal house again well <laughs> you want to go to the tavern yeah <laughs> I need a drink <sighs> The lot of you escape the death house, never to return to that horrible place ever again. Oh. And though in its last moments, when you were not the sacrifices that it had wanted you to be so badly, the house itself had aimed to stop you from leaving. But even then, that could not hold you back. You made your way out, barely escaping with your lives, and leave it behind you for some other poor fool to wander in and fall for its traps. Though... The children, whose souls had not rested, now rest in peace. But whatever lurks down deep in that house still lives on. And that is the end of our story. Interesting. Holy crap. Very we survived. Interesting. Very interesting. That, that was awesome. That was pretty part cool, guys. Is, that was pretty cool. Part of me is super bummed that we didn't decide to keep continue but it's gonna be an interesting video because i don't know what i'm gonna talk about i think i'm, I'm gonna go like like I, I i think i do like this dungeon a lot it's it's mm -hmm. interesting i just think it's so damn hard like I think it's, it's just hard for i think that's the thing is that it's so hard for like low levels yeah i think what i would do is i would put more emphasis on its creepiness because of the fun yeah, parts of it, when you guys are discovering yeah. corpses and uncovering mysteries yeah. and mm -hmm. looking for yeah. keys and whatnot to different places or just crowbarring the door open because there was a key in the library they didn't look for. But, you know, yeah. they're, uh, but they're, finding all the little secrets is the fun part. But, like, you know, four ghouls coming out of the ground, it's like, uh, okay, maybe warnings, yeah. adding some traps into there that you guys could deal maybe with. Maybe only one ghoul? I would do two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two. I think it's well, fun I, for there I, to I be would, a lot of them. I would adjust it to like however many party members there were because like obviously yeah. like uh, and depending yeah. on like what what is in the party because like you like... said if the three of us were like a paladin a cleric and like a fighter or something yeah. then we would have dealt with those ghouls pretty handily. i think yeah. that if you guys were playing beefier classes you would have been able to deal with it yeah um yeah. know your party yeah definitely mm -hmm. but like i mean that's not a part of the motive for curse of Strahd. that's not how this no. it was intended to be played with whatever the fuck you want yeah. So, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and, you... and, and, and also that wasn't the boss fight. Yeah, no, boss which is fight. crazy. Um, it's... here I'm gonna put you guys over on this one. I'm gonna just show you the whole. I'm gonna reveal the whole damn thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can turn off. Well, the I, dynamic I, fight. I I remember most of this dungeon. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool dungeon. I gotta say. It is. Um, it is pretty nice. Uh, just to let you know, there's also ghasts over here, which are uh, yeah, stronger. Ghasts. There's yeah. also oh this thing I remember this. Too. There's also shadows all in here, which I know yeah. you guys couldn't have handled because there's like five of them. Yeah, but you could have just like avoided it. Spawns. But the problem and the problem is is that you can't avoid it. It's just like you 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 can't you can't avoid the ghouls as soon as you come over here. It's just like bleh. yeah. And then you make your way down here, and then you head down and you fight a shambling mound, which is which is right down here, and it's a part of like a ritual. Yeah. To sacrifice you to the fucking house because it's an old uh, 
cult that used to live in this house and take in adventurers and then Strahd killed them all. And I think a shambling mound is a really weird choice for a monster, personally. Yeah, I hate yeah, I that it's that. a shambling mound. I also when I ran don't this, like that it's a shambling when mound. When I ran this, I changed it to an undead beholder. That's cool. That's cool. It was a zombie beholder, and it was funny because the party totally um, did the ritual. Like, the wizard ended up sacrificing their familiar. Oh, um, wow. And so... Mm -hmm. And so they could have just left the house, um, mm. but the blood hunter chose to investigate that pool of water, and <laughs> I was like, "Well, let's have them fight the beholder. Why not?" Awesome. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm gonna do what I, I what I did last yeah. time with the tomb of horrors. And, sorry, Tyler, what are you gonna say? Well, I just, I just wanted to say that I feel like, especially compared to the tomb of horrors, this dungeon is actually an interesting, kind of fun dungeon. It's very fun. There's just yeah. it, it's just there's just bits of it that could be tweaked to make it slightly better. The The problem I have with it is that initially, I feel like it's not a good introduction to Curse of Strahd. But there is some story there that does, and it does kind of retain the theme of dangerous, abandoned, yeah. dead places that are dangerous if you awaken whatever's left inside. So mm -hmm. I, I think I will go back on my statement there and say the Death House is a pretty good introduction to the Curse of Strahd. I just, I think there are ways you can make it better. I, I would give thing, more yeah. clues as to what's going on. I would, yeah. I would let, um, because... To be honest, I know no fucking party is ever gonna think to put the skeletons back in 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 those coffins. Yeah, uh, you know, like, like no, yeah. like if you guys had never played this before, I know for a fact you guys would be like, oh, and wouldn't think of it. But um, yeah, but you know, I think it depends. Yeah, it, it really does depend. And so, like, if there were more clues to that kind of stuff, if there were more, um, if there were more like, yeah. uh, uh, I think more mystery as to like. There also needs to be more motivation for the players to go down into the dungeon, too. Um, yeah. And I think it needs to be less of a death trap and more of a, like... Like, if you guys had a warning that there were ghouls ahead, it would have been cool for... So, just to let you know, there's like there's a trap right here. Um, and here, I'll right go where? ahead. There's a trap right, um, right there. Ah. And mm -hmm. um, you guys could choose to either go the trapped way or the ghoul way. And you could have led the ghouls to the trap. So, like, if you would have known about it. But the problem is it doesn't tell you. So yeah. if it would give you some hints or something like that, I think I would like it more. So I'm going to ask you guys, because I did this Tomb of Horrors, uh, how do you feel about this dungeon as a whole, as, a, as an introduction to Curse of Strahd? Most of you have played Curse of Strahd or run this dungeon. Yeah. I want to hear your thoughts. Spencer. Um, I really like this introduction. I think it fits pretty well. Um, I know that we, we did it like one time, like, probably four years ago and you didn't like it that much and i didn't really remember it i don't know if you ever got through all of it but i had fun I way more the than the same thing happened actually i think you guys went into the death house and we were just like oh, i don't know what's here and then everybody left the only thing i could remember were the kids were actually in the attic and that was it that was the only like i guess the only thing that impacted my character was oh the kids died that sucks mm -hmm. um but yeah i'd run this all right jack what how do you feel about this um, I, I like it as a concept. I love the whole monster house concept. Yeah, uh, sick. I, it, I, th I think it fits the tone of Barovia really well, and it, I think it's a pretty good introduction. Um, I agree that I think the house's story needs to be, ha needs there needs to be more detail with that. I'd love mm -hmm. to, I'd love it if there was more information about who exactly these people were, rather mm -hmm. than just like vague implications that they were a cult dedicated to Strahd. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Um, like, because the only tie-in that you get with like the cult, like, is that secret room in the study. Um, yeah, that, I think and, that is something and, I would and, add to it. Is like add like a, a, the reason to go down into the depths is maybe somebody tells them that there's some secret about Strahd they might learn about if they go down there, or something. Yeah. Tie it into um, like the plot and also have them give give them. Yeah, a make it if there. make it relevant to the plot. Like maybe maybe this is the place where they figure out about the three different artifacts that are meant to kill Strahd. Yeah, um, that would be awesome. And, or you could, then, um, and, yeah. you could uh, tie this in with one of the artifacts. You could put it down here yeah, and or come you back could, at a, like, probably at a higher level, maybe three or kind of third up. level or fourth level, and then be a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, that's true, get actually. get at the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or like, um, and I think also, 
I, 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 as I mentioned before, I hate the Shambling Mound. I think it should be a different monster <laughs> entirely. I, 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 agree. I just love, I just love the Undead Beholder because I, I don't know, like there is, there are, and uh, I like the Undead Beholder just because it's like, it's a zombie beholder and mm -hmm. it's, it's like a zombie, it's undead, it's yeah. scary. Um, whereas like big plant monster isn't, doesn't evoke quite the same terror. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. this dungeon I think it's legitimately scary. Like there I is some agree. creepy shit in mm -hmm. this game, and then to have the final boss be a giant bush. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah a giant bush that I've, eats it, people. The only other thing I think what like, I would do is I would describe the shambling mound as being a flesh mound. Like it's not made of plants; it's instead made of body. That could parts. be better. You know? If it was something like that, that would mm -hmm. be more like the body parts of like all of the people that were sacrificed by the cult yes, over the that thousands would be so of good. years or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe, maybe it was made. And you know, I think it. I think it says in the story that all of the cult's members were killed by the monster. That um, or yeah, something like, like that. Strahd um, kills them all. Well, so, then it would be cool if the Shambling Mound was instead of being like the monster that they sacrificed stuff to, mm -hmm. if the cult were, was the ones doing the sacrificing. And then um, instead of, and I know like the, the, the ghouls and the ghasts are supposed to be like the cultists and the dursts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could just make them be like minions of Strahd and have all of the dead cultists be the ones that make up the Shambling Mound as like a punishment. Yeah, for... yeah that would be awesome. Like yeah. just something, something to, I, and I want it to, I think if, if you're going to use this as an introduction, um, cause I know that when I first introduced Strahd to my, my players, when I did this dungeon, like, or, or when I did this adventure, mm -hmm. it was like when they first got to Barovia, the first person they met was Strahd. Um, mm -hmm. and they, they all wanted to have sex with him. They, they weren't scared of him. Um, <laughs> they, 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 they were like, this guy's hot. Um, so I think if. <laughs> If your first impression, and it took me a while to get them to realize, like, no, Strahd is the villain of this, <laughs> yeah. this game. So I think if you, if you if you introduce them to Strahd first, and they don't, they're not quite sold on the fact that maybe he's a bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, this dungeon could be a really good way to demonstrate just how evil he is. Yeah. That there are these people who like worship him, and mm -hmm. he just is like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah. Um, I I hate what you're doing. Yeah. Um, even though you're like dedicated to me, um, fuck you. You're a monster now, yeah. um, and I have cursed your home for eternity. Um, <laughs> I would like so, that a lot. Tyler, how do you feel so about you, it? I think. Yeah. Sorry, I'm no, cutting no, off. No, no, you, you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I um, talked long enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I agree a lot with what what you guys were saying. It, I feel like it. It's a good dungeon. It just there's some tweaks that could be made to it to make it. Uh, to make it an even better introduction to it and to, to really set the stage for things better. It tries to in cases. Mm -hmm. Like it, it foreshadows Strahd. It foreshadows even like the um the the goddamn The windmill. Um, the, 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 yeah, the hags the, at the windmill. The yeah. hags at the windmill, because mm -hmm. the dearths are on the windmill apparently. Yep. But they don't really tell you that a whole lot and it, I, I do feel like there are ways to improve it. I do agree. I feel like the Shambling Mount was just a weird choice of the monster at the end, unless you specify that it's not just Shambling Bush. Yeah. Um, I find myself uh, being a bit, like, going back and forth between, like, the the sake of the module over, um, like, what I think would actually be fun. Because on yeah. one hand, I kind of like that the people who wrote this module are like, yeah, there's five shadows down here. But if I were writing this and I knew a level two players are heading through this, I would not put it, make an encounter with five shadows. I, I actually, if I, if I were, because I have to think like if I were writing this, these these ghouls would be zombies. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, zombies are hard yeah. enough already. Four zombies is like, oh shit, that's a lot of them, and we'll have to weave through them. And then I would put like a, a shadow ghouls, or two. So. Yeah. Yeah, like, I agree. It's just it's just so much, and it's I, I maybe yeah. I get like I totally understand that it's supposed to be dangerous. And I get that mm -hmm. mindset of like, this is a dangerous place that they go to, they yeah. may die. And you need to have, you can't always make things easy for your players because you want it to be, you want things to feel scary. But at the same yeah. time, the, like it's always that philosophy of like, the game isn't fun if they're all dead. So yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, I go back I, and forth I, on that. I, I don't know no, how I, I feel. I I think I agree with, I think, I think the death house should be challenging but it shouldn't be you should 
it shouldn't be going for a TPK. Yeah, and that's what I feel like it does. <laughs> exactly. It tries to like, kill you. I feel like a lot of these old modules that are sub are known for being scary and hard are just trying to go for TPK yeah. in a lot of the instances, uh, rather than just try and make it challenging. Yeah. There's like a difference between the two. Yeah. Well, in any case, it was this was a lot of fun. This was super cool. You it guys was, are awesome really players. Fun. So really, really great job. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was great to play this. It was I, super fun. I was really hoping that I could get all of the ghouls <laughs> just with my stupid shotgun. That was so factory. cool. And honestly, that <laughs> moment was really fun. And we have it I have was. to owe it to the fact that there were four ghouls there. That moment mm -hmm. wouldn't have been as cool with four zombies there. But, you mm -hmm. know, I feel like... So I feel like you could keep all the monsters there and just make a more enticing um, uh, reason to go Plot deeper hook. in. Because yeah. you guys were like, we yeah. should leave. I was like, yeah, there's no reason to hang around. I don't know why you would. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to try to murder you more. So whatever. And um, I kind of like the ending of you guys escaping the house trying to kill you as you leave. It's kind of yeah. cool. So. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, question. Yep. Could you elaborate exactly what you were doing when you brought us back to life? Oh, okay. So the um, you guys technically did not. You, what what had happened was is you guys had um, you had hit zero and you had still stabilized. <laughs> now you were still supposed to be sacrifices for the house, so the ghouls didn't eat you because they need you alive. So uh, uh, previously, when the 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 cultists who own the house. Um, a long time ago, they used it as a lure to get people inside and kill them and use them for their sacrifices. Um, and when Strahd showed up, like the Death House existed before like Barovia went into the Shadow Fell or whatever. Yeah. And when Strahd showed up and it became a demiplane, they kept doing it. So Strahd would we would bring in the adventurers and have their cat and mouse game. And he's like, haha, these are my playthings." And then the death house people who are in Barovia would tell them to come into their death house and kill them. And that happened one time. Strahd showed up on their front door and went, you killed my playthings and murdered them. All. Yeah. So the cult, the, the thing still happens inside the house, but they, they don't take as many sacrifices. So I would assume that these ghouls are not as cannibalistic as other ghouls. They would be working mm -hmm. more towards the goal of the house. So with all of you stabilized, all it takes for you to do is a short rest. And for you, all they did was they just went back into the ground. You guys laid there, took a nap because you were all conscious. You're just unconscious and woke up an hour later with some hit points. Nothing fucky happened. It's just that you got knocked out and you woke back up. Mm-hmm. That makes sense to me. Mm. So that was it. Okay. <laughs> if one, if if all of you had failed your death saves, you would have been dead. If uh, if the ghouls weren't working for this house and trying to get people to go downstairs or whatever, then uh, whatever. I guess another thing I could have done is they could have dragged you down to the third level and whatnot. But in the mm -hmm. moment, I was just like, eh. <laughs> I, I know, know that. Um, I they think also could have just eaten you. In the Adventurers League, stuff related to this game, mm -hmm. or maybe like the module, the Adventure League modules that are related to Chris and Strahd, mm -hmm. there is an optional rule that you can do um, where, uh, and I did this when I ran the game mm -hmm. because I, I knew that, the, that I had five players and they were all pretty smart, but mm -hmm. I knew that this house was deadly. Yeah. And what it was was like, um, if someone dies in the death house, um, like the dark powers of Ravenloft intervene with their death and instead of killing them like permanently they just come back to life oh wow um, so it's like like and the way I did it was like the way I viewed it was like um, the the dark powers like like because like Strahd brings the people to Barovia mm -hmm. but like the dark powers of Ravenloft also have like influence over the plane mm -hmm. and so like my idea was that like the dark powers were like these are the people that they're destined to kill Strahd and mm -hmm. if they die here they can't fulfill or like not maybe not destined to kill Strahd but they're definitely weren't destined to die here yeah, um yeah, so like sense. so so like um the way I did it because in that fight with the undead beholder our wizard was was death raid and killed and mm. so damn and because and and yeah which sucked but but i was also like i don't want to kill a player in the first dungeon of the game yeah. so i'll bring them so i brought up so i brought them back and i described that they had like this weird vision and when they woke up they didn't remember any of it 
kind of thing. That's cool. Um, I think there so. are rules in Strahd itself for like bringing characters back to life. I can't find it though. I was trying to. Well, there's for also it. there's also the the rule where it's like if someone's dead for longer than like 24 hours, I think like when you bring them back, they come back like with a, a trait of madness oh, from the yeah, DM's yeah. guide. Which I think is a really cool function. It's pretty cool. Um, well, Curse but, of Strahd as then, a whole is, but, a, is a great module, I think. It's just, it you is. know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's then, one of the best. So Yeah, and there's there's one thing that I do want to say about the Death House. Uh, the first <laughs> floor, that specter is very mean, and it shouldn't be there. I agree. That, it fucking killed you. Like, we're completely yeah, forgetting yeah. that, Tyler. too. It just killed you. Yeah. And it, yeah, like, I don't know. I, it, it, I think it can it's just be a, a like... If, What's if you just make it a specter, but take away like the life drain ability and make it like a claw attack or yeah. something, and just change it to just change just change that ability because that's just that's just is there killer. like a slightly like, underpowered? Uh, like a... I think a specter is the lowest level like wraith wow. creature you can be. What challenge rating? It is, yeah, yeah but but it's you can just one. edit the stat block wow. and I, just rough and for a level just, one. Or you can just one. edit the stat block and and change it to yeah a, like a different attack. Just don't make it, don't make it something that like yep. kills them. Challenge rating one, life drain it has a plus four to hit, and if it hits, it does three d six necrotic damage. And if you fail a DC con save, your hit point maximum is reduced by that much. And most level wow. one characters have less than ten hit points. Yeah, so yep. that's just a kill right there. Yeah. I yeah. I agree uh, with you. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's dumb. Um, very dumb. Well, and that's anyways, the last thing I, I have mean, to say about that house. <laughs> What other things are there that they could replace it with, or is do they have replace it with like a zombie or something? But I like the idea of it being I mean, like a like a like a weaker ghost. Yeah, me you know? too. I mean, a sh like, I mean, technically a shadow. But that's you could make it a shadow. But shadow. But the thing is, is like this is Dungeons and Dragons, and it needs yeah. to be the the lore of what these are. So yeah, that's like that's where I get thing. like why they put these monsters in there. It's like, oh, this is our world. This is our lore. This is what would be here. Even yeah. though when I DM, I don't do that shit. I go, oh, here's a cool stat block. I'll just reflavor it. And that, yeah, I do that too. Mood. Yeah, but like I know that they that they've like they're forced into taking like these things and going like, okay, we have to put a thing here because this is we have the to lore put a shambling mound in the game. Yeah, except for the fucking <laughs> shambling mound. I don't understand that. Whatever. It's weird. I don't get it. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, this was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being my guinea pigs. Thank you, Jacob. Um, it was pretty awesome. And thank you for watching the entire VOD of this game. It was actually pretty mm -hmm. fun and pretty interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. Go check out our other live games and whatnot. And um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. all of Curse of Strahd. Yeah, we played through all of Curse of Strahd. Wow. We did that live in person about a year and a half ago. And it was it was super fun. That was on this channel? Just um, check it yeah, out. Yeah. And it's like, what, 20 episodes? 22 mm -hmm. episodes? Yeah. Of course, it's connected to um, uh, the, the Waterdeep game. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can watch it without watching Waterdeep. Even yeah. But Waterdeep's super good. Yep. So, cool, guys. Uh, thanks. I don't have anything else to say. Um, that is the end of the game. Bye. Bye.